Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. I mean uh, to hit that. Oops, close that. Did not mean to click that at all. Well, hmm. <laughs> I meant to go out of screen region, but now I think I'm broadcasting, so I guess... I guess that means I need to keep broadcasting, then. I guess that, uh... That will be the deciding factor on whether or not I stream, and I guess the answer is now yes. Hmm. Oh, Windows 7 Basic, then. Let me just wait for that to go. Do, do, do. Hello. <laughs> I did a thing, and now I'm streaming, and I didn't necessarily mean to do that, but... Let me just put a tweet out. The Steam button. No, the Stream button. Button. All right, well, hi. <laughs> um, I actually did hit it accidentally. I wanted to go and click Broadcast and then Resolution and check what resolution it was set at. But instead of hitting this tab and clicking that, I hit the Broadcast tab and then hit this. So, um, totally hit the wrong button. And now I have a stream up. And, um... Now I feel like I have to keep doing it, so... Oh well. I, uh... <laughs> I guess I'm streaming tonight. Not like I really had anything else to do, so it couldn't hurt. Hello. Um... Welcome to the 11 p.m. stream, which... I kind of hit the wrong button to make happen, but... Oh well. So, hey, um, I guess I'll be playing some roller coasters because that's all I do. That is my thing. Also just made a mug of tea, which I kind of meant to drink earlier before I started to broadcast, but now I kind of have it here. So, might have to deal with some slurping during the coaster process. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll just mute the mic. That might be gross hear me just drink on the other side. Anyway, hello. It is not midweek. Well, I meant to stream yesterday, and then I got delayed. Or something. I don't even remember what happened yesterday. I think I slept? I don't know. I woke up. And I think it was like 10 o'clock, and I hadn't eaten, and then I went out and got food with friends, and then came back, and it was like midnight, and I realized, no, I'm not gonna stream. But today... I went to go check out the broadcast settings, and then I hit the stream button, so now I'm here. And, um... I guess it means I'm playing some Roller Coaster Tycoon tonight. It is not Friday, no. If it were Friday, I wouldn't be streaming at 11pm. But anyway, hello. I've got a big mug of tea in my Volkswagen Preferred Vehicle Plan mug. Which is great, because I don't even own a Volkswagen. But I got the mug, and that's got to count for something. Hmm. It's a good mug. I don't know if that means anything about the cars. But, uh, yeah. Gonna be playing some Roller Coaster Tycoon. Again. Tell your friends. I guess. Um. I don't need this up anymore. Yeah, I'm sponsored by Volkswagen Mugs. Just drink them. Also sponsored by The Who. Uh, and Firefox. Roller Coaster Tycoon. There we go. Yeah, I just drink the mug. I just eat the mug. Completely. Uh, oh, I gotta pop the chat up. Do, 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 do. So yeah, how about... A Thursday 
So yeah, Oops. how about oh god, uh, Thursday? So yeah, Oops. how about kill that? <laughs> I'm gonna pass on that thing. Um, I want to go there and I want to pop the chat out, and I don't want a horrible tunnel of me. That would be kind of weird. It's one of these. Oh wait, that's how I sound. Moments every time I hear my voice on stream. Also, apparently Twitch fixed the chat, so, uh, all those issues I had where it constantly put that giant red block up and said, you know, this, this is too small to work. They fixed that, so now it does work, and it doesn't complain about it. When can you see my face? I don't know. One day. Maybe. One day I'll do it, I just don't know when. I just gotta put the chat up, hang on. Uh, do 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 do, chat, 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 chat. Uh, do do do. There we go. Spiffy. According to XSplit, there's 71 people watching at 11.03 p.m. Hmm. Well, welcome aboard. And tell your friends, because we haven't even started yet. I swear to you, I meant to hit the, uh... This tab. The view tab. Then I hit the broadcast tab and then started streaming. And then it just kind of happened. So now I'm here. There we go. So we got the game up, we got the chat up. I'm not doing laundry, so I shouldn't have to pause it. Oops. Although I will have to adjust the volume. Um, shouldn't have to pause it mid-game, which might be nice. Uh, might have to use the bathroom, maybe. So that probably would be the only reason I need to pause it. Um, you're thinking about sleeping. Well, not anymore, you're not. Let me just turn the volume down so it doesn't echo. That works. Back last summer when I played this game pretty much non-stop, I would constantly hear sound effects from this game in my sleep, and I am not kidding. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really help that this game doesn't use that many different sound effects. Also, as I mentioned before, I have a giant mug of tea here, so if you hear the mic get muted, and you're wondering why I'm turning the mic off, because I'm taking a swig of tea, and it probably sounds kind of gross over the mic. You want to hear gurgly, drinky noises? I mean, maybe you do. Maybe that's your thing. Maybe you want to hear what it sounds like when I ingest things. That's a little bit weird. But maybe you do. I don't know. Make dual tracks. I think I will. I'll try, actually. Because this title screen is making me feel really incompetent at this game. As in, I could never build anything that nice. Uh, what park is this? Oh, it says it right there. Three Monkeys Park, that's right. Because this is like, see no evil, hear no evil, and taste the rainbow. I don't know. Taste, no, it's not taste no evil, it's speak no evil. That's what it was. That's what those three things were called. And they're better than anything you could make or I could make in this game, I'm convinced. So hey, thanks for watching, it's 11.05. I guess I'm streaming now after hitting the stream button, accidentally. Um, oh god, there's a park called Pickle Park. Alright, well anyway. Welcome to the stream, welcome to Roller Coaster Tycoon. For the next three hours or so. I'm gonna class into 11 tomorrow, and it's not too big of a deal. This is also a three hour gap between that class and the next one, and I can just nap. So... We need to pick a park. Almost done with the Corkscrew Folly parks now that I think about it. Um, so we need to beat Haunted Harbor, or Swamp Cove, or Utopia Park, Fiasco Forest, or Pickle Park. That won't allow any kind of advertising or promotion. That sounds horrible. That's, that's how I make my parks work. They don't allow me to have any propaganda. How are we supposed to win, really? Um, 
It'll be a challenge. It will be. That's what I'm concerned about. Hmm. I could do Pickle Park, maybe. Uh, the shortest one, I think, is you... Mm, might be Fiasco Forest, actually. I think this is only an hour long. Um, I mean, I could try Pickle Park. 1,400 guests by year three. No propaganda. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? It's really big. Should, should we try Pickle Park? The park with no propaganda? I could try. All right. I'll, I'll save it. We'll see what happens. Let me just pause this and put out another tweet because I'm a horrible, horrible sellout. Let's see. Can I make every word in this tweet begin with a P? Playing Pickle Park on... No. Playing Pickle Park... No. Hmm. Playing Pickle Park... Uh, another word with P. Playing Pickle Park... Uh... Propa... Ganda... Prohibited... Please... Pop... No? I was saying like pop in, but that's not a thing. Oh, you can't even see what I'm writing. Hang on. Oh, it still doesn't show up. There we go. Playing Pickle Park, Propaganda Prohibited, please... Um... Please watch. Perfect. Please, yeah, partake. <laughs> I guess. Please partake. And I guess I have to just link this. That's a T, no matter what I do. Please partake. Oh, I like that. Propaganda prohibited. Pandas, perhaps. Please partake. There we go. Oh, I get you presently. Playing Pickle Park. Propaganda prohibited. Pandas, perhaps. Please partake. I think that's great. I love that. There you go. It's got horrible alliteration on everything. That was a group effort. So this is Pickle Park. As described in the tweet, it does not allow you to have any sort of propaganda or ad campaigns, which kind of is a problem. Although we do have hedge mazes, so that's good. Alright, so I need 1,400 guests in the park with only rides, which means... I think I need to keep building rides forever. I can't stop building rides or else everyone will leave. So, might as well start. Name everything with a P. Okay. That works. Let's build one of these. Oops, probably should get a chain or else it will not work. Do, do, do. Oh, great, too high for supports and I've already built just one thing. Hmm. That's not very good. Can I turn that way? Oh, there we go. Too high for supports. Well, go higher. Can I go flat? There we go. Yep, more weekday me accidentally. <laughs> I mentioned this a whole bunch of times. I don't think anyone believes me. Um, meant to go check the resolution on XSplit, hit the stream button, and now I'm streaming, so... Thanks for watching. I don't think I've ever had... Oh, I can't build there. I don't think I've ever had a scenario that didn't have propaganda. So this should be an interesting one for once. Maybe some challenge. Maybe I'll lose. I hope not. I've got a reputation to defend. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know where I'm building this. So, how are you guys on the chat? As I stream by accident. This whole stream was a mistake. This whole internet thing. 
Oh, I can't build that. Can I build that? Hmm. I can. I bet that won't work. Hmm, maybe it will. Looks kind of cool. Probably not that functional, though. Hmm, too high for supports. Well, that's a bummer. How much did you miss? Uh, literally nothing. Don't worry about it. It's March year one. Just started. This park could go horribly wrong, and you haven't missed it yet. I'm just building a coaster that spins around. Oh wait, I'm gonna run out of all my money, aren't I? Ooh, that's a problem. Does it just prohibit you from doing this, or does it just make you lose? Hmm. I wonder. Does it just say... Oh. Yeah, it says you can't do that. I was wondering if it let you do it, and then at the end it said you lost. Marketing campaigns are forbidden by the local authority. I live in a horrible backwards place that bans commercials. What a terrible future. Alright, 17, 16, 15, and maybe I can finish this on budget. No, just kidding. Let's just veer off on a horrible tangent. Uh... Can that work? No, it can't. This might. Let me see. No, nope, wait, go go down and then Up oh, oh. Wait, there we go. Alright. Now you can save. Thankfully. Alright guys, what do you think? What do you think about this thing? What's the difference before a before between a C3 and a C4 plant. Um, it's one of those alternate photosynthesis things. Oops, I didn't mean open, I mean test. I meant open this. Uh, I think one separates the bits of photosynthesis by distance in the cells, and the other separates it by doing photosynthesis at different times of the day, so you don't accidentally have like photosynthesis or photorespiration instead of photosynthesis. Something like that. Read the book. They're, they're plants. It's not really a thing I know that much about. And anyway, there goes the coaster. Don't forget the Krebs cycle. Oh, I wouldn't dare. So far, it hasn't crashed. You're the guy with mono. I'm the guy with mono. I am the mono guy. Oh, wait, C4 and C4. I'm thinking Cam and something else plants. Never mind. I'm thinking... Yeah. <laughs> kind of a really bad bio major at this point. Just ignore that. I'm, I'm good with coasters. Kind of. Well, hey, it worked. And no one died. Theme, I don't know. Call everything. Name everything with a P. Because the name of the park is Pickle Park. Which is a horrible, horrible name. Also, does not let you put in any propaganda in the park, which is kind of a really big bummer. Okay, so high, high, and medium. It's pretty good. Please pay pants. Why would I call Roller Poster? Yeah, that works. That's got a P in it. Popular Popery. Pushing onwards. That doesn't work. That's not a P. Hmm. Pretty Please Pay Pants. Please Porker Porks Pleasantly. Poop, there you go. Now you're thinking outside the box. Pompadour producer. 
That's... <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the rod. But I feel like I have to call it that. Also, I gotta build this information stand to get my $20 umbrellas before it's too late. Oh wait, I don't have any money. Now I'm broke. The puke protruder? The puke producer, there we go. That sounds like a thing. Let me just get this up to 20 bucks. Do, 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 do. Hey, they're actually buying these. Alright, information kiosk needs a name, by the way. The puke producer. No, there we go. And I'll throw a couple of benches on the end. Do, 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 do. Uh, build a toilet. You can charge 10 cents and call it Please Pay Pennies. There we go. Why don't I check the same thing? Or the same price thing? Because I forgot. Purchase pricey products, please. I like it. If that fits... Oh. Get rid of the space there. Oh! Crap. I just spilled this tea all over me. Ouch, that's really hot. <laughs> oh god, everything I own is wet. Mostly just me. <laughs> I could have seen that coming. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, my pants are wet. Just ignore everything. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I, like, pick up the mouse and it just starts hemorrhaging tea. That was a really bad place to put that, but it still works, so we're, we're good. Ignore the fact that I spilled a mug of tea all over me and the computer. Probably be all right, but uh, I'll get back to the game in just a minute. Once I try everything off. On the bright side, I'm all covered in tea and antioxidants, so I guess this means I'm never getting cancer. I got my chair wet. I got my pants wet. <laughs> oh, everything's covered in tea. Um. Don't tell anyone I'm going to change my pants on stream. Um, just use your imagination for that. Don't get too excited. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did that. The keyboard's still mostly dry. Somehow I got it on the actual screen. There. Problem solved. All right. Get a dry pair of pants. Yeah, fine, whatever. That's why I did laundry this week, so I could anticipate spilling everything on me. Uh, is there anything in the pockets? Probably not. Nope. Well, chair, still wet. Got dry pants on though now, that's good. I feel like this is how the amnesia stream should have gone. I'm just playing the game, playing the game, and whoops, my pants are wet all of a sudden. I should probably change those. Alright, did I get the carpet wet? Yeah, just a little bit. That'll dry. Like that one time we had a tornado here and I left my window wide open. And everything I own got soaked. And there's a giant puddle on the floor. No, oh, wait, no, the floor is definitely wet because I just put my foot into it. Oh, my foot's covered in tea. <laughs> hmm. Let me just... 
dry that off. So if you're just tuning in, I'm playing some Roller Coaster Tycoon, and then I spilled tea all over my desk and myself. I also went through all of my paper towels when I left the window open in the tornado to dry everything off. So now I'm using tissues, which don't work as well. Like, at all. Also, how, the, the underside of my chair is covered in... How the hell did I... Alright, well, whatever. It's wet, I gotta clean it. There, fine, no problem. That's, that's dry. My mouse work. Is this click? Right click. Right click works. Left click. Great, they both work. Now I just gotta make sure my mouse isn't being put around in a puddle of tea. And we're set. I was getting over a cold, so... I've got tissues nearby. Anyway, um... I left the window open during a tornado. Yeah, because I didn't get the alert that we had a tornado until I was walking out in the middle of it. So that was no good. Anyway, everything is dry. Computer still works. Aside from a couple of little splashes of tea on it, but whatever. Um... Anyway, I also just keep a box of tissues on my desk because, I don't know, always did. But, uh, oh, great, I have a bottom of my mug is wet, I'm getting tea everywhere, and... God damn it. I should probably drink this all until I spill it some other place. There's still almost half the mug there. Ah, excuse me. Still not quite over that. Uh, anyway, I think the park is okay. The goal of the scenario is uh, 1,400 guests by year three, and you can't have any propaganda at all. So um, I built one ride on this great park called Pickle Park. That's the name the game gave it. Not anything I decided to name it. And, um, I did not make it, or, uh, 10,000 bucks, actually. That is all money I took out of the loan, because I'm not a very good businessman. You see puke, you do. I'm gonna make a handyman, then. And I can call this guy, I don't know, you. Rand Althor. Who said audio. Okay, so, gotta get a hundred get- or not a hundred, fourteen hundred, which is more than a hundred, into the park. Uh, do 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 what are people thinking? Puke producer looks too intense for me. Well, we gotta get some baby rides then. How about... a crooked house. You can walk through it and spill things on your pants. Or maybe that's just me. Uh, do, 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 do. Crooked House 1. Needs a name, by the way. That has peas in it. Call the handyman the puke preventer. Oh, Alright. Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna call it that guy. Try to name all the handymen and certain guests after people in the chat. So, anyway, hello. Sorry for the delay. I think we need another ride. Poor planning, sure was. Let's build a log flume. Hmm. Also, I'm gonna periodically drink this tea so I don't spill the rest of it. Anyway. If that sounds really gross, let me know, and I'll just turn the mic off every time I drink. No problem either way. I don't know how that sounds on the mic. That sounded amazing, alright. Oh, I just built that right into a coaster. Genius. Oh, didn't I build a log flume the other day that was ten and a half minutes? I kind of want to do that again, but at the same time, I probably really shouldn't. I don't think I made very much money on that. 
Hmm. Sounds like you drinking. Well, that's... That's how it ought to sound. Uh, what's that? At a height of... How about 20? Can that work? No, it can't. That's too high. Can I build that? No, I can't. I can't build any of this. Hmm. It's a bit of a bummer. Oh, well, that works. It's still a coaster in the way. Needs to be a longer ride. I want to. I want to make this like the go-karts I made. Just have it be really, really convoluted for no reason. So everything just kind of stacks on top of itself. But I don't know if I can pull that off because this coaster is kind of in the way. It's kind of just screwing up everything, so... Can that work? No, it can't. Anyway, thanks for watching at 11.28pm. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And sorry again for the delay. Uh, yeah, that'll work. That won't work, actually. This log flume is too tall. Stretching the boundaries of what is possible in the world of log flumes, it seems. Is it 5.28 a.m.? Where do you live at its 528? Because Britain, I think, is only a five hour difference. Uh, my hair looks nothing like that one picture that everybody digs out. My hair is like the picture of my hair that I posted. Which, I guess if you can't see my face, you don't really have any context as to how big that actually is. Answer is that it's not that big. It's maybe like half down on my ears. Uh, yeah, maybe I can try this. And build some horrible log flume abomination. And you know, I don't even think I've ever been on a log flume ever. Hmm. I'm like the least theme park guy. That's a horrible sentence. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. For somebody who plays so much Roller Coaster Tycoon, I have gone on so few roller coasters, so few anything that isn't really a water park. Which probably explains why my designs are kind of whacked out. I just don't know what they really look like. Also, I've never been on a water slide that was a continuous circuit, but apparently in this game, that's just kind of how they work. Hmm, where am I even building this? Can I go up? It can't. Can this go up? It can't. All right. I guess that has to go down. Okay, get rid of this tree, spin this around again. We should probably try to find the exit. Uh, nope. No room there. Just bump to the coaster. Uh, the goal for this park is 1,400 guests, and the gimmick is that you can't run any ads. Which is a pain in the butt. Because ads are my bread and butter. Hmm. Can I, where can I build this? I can build that. Oh wait, actually that works. That works really well. All I need is an on-ride photo. Except they don't make those for log flumes. What a ripoff. Alright, well I think... I think that works. I think that's great. If I can find room for the entrance and exit. I don't think it's 10 minutes, but I gotta say, I really like how that looks. It just looks like a horrible mess. It's like a series of giant aquatic noodles. Just 
Just a heads up, you don't get the best commentary from me at almost midnight. So, <laughs> aquatic noodles is the best I'm gonna get today. It's all gonna be downhill from there. Again, drinking tea, so I don't spill it on myself. Again. If the sound bugs you, I can turn the mic off. If the sound excites you, I can turn the mic up. Hopefully I won't have to do that. Oh no, I can't build that coaster there. Or that path there. Maybe I can build it under, that would work. Do do do, and then it goes up, and it goes flat, and then it connects, except... Does it connect? There we go. Right. Now we're set. How is this going? It's probably not even halfway done. So... Hmm. I trust it's not going to explode? Because it's a log flume? The perspiration proclamation? Alright. What did it sound like when I spilled the tea all over my desk? Did that sound like anything? Probably sounded like water spilling. I don't even know why I'm asking. So we currently have... 10% of the total number of guests that we need. I should probably charge more than 2 bucks for this. I am... Convinced they will spend up to eight based on absolutely nothing. Also, remove the the. Alright. Also, Crooked House still needs a name. It's still just called Crooked House 1, and given that the park is called Pickle Park, it has to have a name with a P. Ideally, two P's. We're not two peas. Ha 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 ha. Uh. Observation tower. That sounds like a thing. It's a ride for every age. Just go up as high as it can. Or wait, what if... Wait, genius. Genius has struck. Um... This is probably not genius, by the way. This is probably really dumb. Yeah, there we go. I like this. Oh, hmm. Can I even get it in that? Maybe I can't. Come on, game. I want to build the tower inside that. But I can't. Hmm. I guess I need to take this down. I gotta rebuild the mountain afterwards. If anybody wonders why I'm always poor in this game, this is why. Pretty much this. I don't think an underground view will work. No, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what I'll probably have to do is... Die tree. Take all of this down and then build it back up. That might be enough. There we go. Okay, that's my observation deck, and now I just need to build the hill back. There goes all of my money. By the way. Oops. That's the terraforming thing I need. Now, can I build this hill up and make it look like a hill? Probably not. Well, maybe. I'll just major in landscape design. Do. Gotta raise the individual corners. This is so pedantic. I love how raising the corners costs the same amount as raising the whole thing. Like raising one quarter of the land you think should cost one quarter of the price, but it doesn't. So I'm just gonna make this observation deck be completely underground. 
because I don't know, it's a hipster observation deck. Observation, even. Just trying to make it look kind of natural. I don't know if I'm succeeding. I'm probably not. I mean, maybe. It looks kind of like something that could exist in nature, except not at all. Sort of, just don't look at it from the other angle. There, good enough. Oh, wait. Hmm. There's this part. You know what? That's that's fine. I am fine with that. How about the entrance? Uh, you can just put them right like that, and it works. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna cover it in trees. There. Now it looks just fine. Aside from the fact there are four identical trees next to an area with none. There. Just, just don't look at it, okay? It's it's just not here. Alright. There's no observation deck under here. Don't look. This is our secret also. I don't even know how I'm going to get the pathway there anymore. Um... Hmm... Where's the entrance? Is that the entrance? I can't even see and I have to get rid of all those trees I just built. Is that the entrance? No, that's the exit. Wait, that's the entrance. Now that has to connect to something and I don't know what that something would be. There we go. Really dumb, but we did it. Okay. Make that that kind of path so they all match. Footpath in the way. Alright. Oh, that comes out of that hole right there. Nice. Think of how much money I could save that way. I don't have to build another exit. Why and how do I have 666P? Well, because that is the best quality. For anything. It is... sinfully great. Does that connect? No. There's a coaster in the way. Well then, um... Oops. Oh, you know what I can do? I can just do something really stupid. I can just connect this to that. And then connect the entrance to the giant plot of dirt I have covering the observation tower. Perfect. Everyone's just going to walk there and be totally lost. But that's okay. No one needs to know. Oh, well that actually connects there just fine. Call it the passive pillar. Oh, right. Make a hole in the middle. I could. There. Perfect. Now it's artistic and something. I could put... I can't really put anything there, can I? Put an information kiosk in the middle. I don't think they work that way. It's too far from the ground. You can't just, you know, stack your rides. It doesn't work. It doesn't even let you try. It puts it on that path instead. Now it's art. Any plans to make it taller? I guess I could. It's not underground anymore. You just rise all through that, except I don't have any money. Law of Diminishing Returns kind of kicks in, though. Now it's just a giant thing. Good enough. Just don't fall in. Call the Crooked House the Pythagorean Plaza. Alright. Sounds 
good enough. How's that going to work? Yeah, it works fun. I think it's fun. I think it's great, even. Also, there are so many people online to ride this. Excitement of six. I'm charging eight bucks. Everyone wants to get off the line. I'm just going to charge 20 bucks, and that's it. It's eight minutes. Eight minutes long. I'm going to charge six... No. 20. 20 bucks. That is not six. 20 bucks for this, and... If you don't want to pay it, well, get lost. Anybody say they don't want to pay it? No. No one says that. I just get carried away with log flumes. I want them to be cool, and then they just look like this. And then they take a year to finish. We've got a river ride, which... I don't know, it looks exactly like a log flume. Apparently they're different. I want to make a river ride then. It's going to be great. It's going to be the best thing ever. I'm going to be heralded as a king. Or I might accidentally kill people on it. I haven't really worked out all the logistics yet. Platform is too long. Oh. I'll just get rid of this part then. Is the observation tower open? I think it is. It is. Passive pillar is go. Excitement is medium. Which is why I need to charge a medium price. So here's my horrible idea. Wait, why does he... Oh, I'm building it opposite direction. I was going to say, why does the up go down? And then I realized I'm building it backwards. Do, 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 do. Should pillar say pillar? Yes, it should. I do not know how to spell. English is hard. There we go. P-I-L-L-A-R. I can make it a four. Make it sound really hip and modern. Put a Z on the end. How tall can the supports on this be? Hmm. I think the river ride goes a little bit faster. So I can... Ooh, it takes really big turns, though. All right. Well, that's fine. I'm just going to waste all my money, except I can't. It's too high. Hmm. Hmm, can't build that. Uh, okay, well, I guess I can do this, then. Bend it. No, this way. And then just go up. And like all good rides, now it just crashes. Oh, well. It can't crash. I'll find a way to make it. Hmm. Oh, wait, that's because it's on top of a platform. Uh, okay. I see the problem. There we go. And now it goes down. Just like that. Can it keep going down, I wonder? No, it's a log flume. Uh, someone's in the bathroom, by the way. You could probably hear that. Now, what do I want to... I don't have a steep plunge all the way to the bottom. Except I don't think it will let me do that. I want it to make that sound when people go down. And that's only going to happen if it's at the maximum height. Oh, wait a minute. I have a genius idea. And by genius, I mean I'm going to delete all of this. Oh, wait, no, I can still go up. Do, do, do. S bend. Land not owned by park. Okay. Do, do, do. Nope. Alright. This is how it's going to go. Too high for supports. And then it just goes down. Just plunges down. I don't know where I'm taking this. I guess. Yep, that, that works. Now we're at one. I think that is a great height. Oh, I don't have any money, but... Oh, thanks. I got a $1,000 loan. That'll... That'll be enough to make this go about two feet. 
Do, 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 do. Wait! I'm almost not broke. Stop paying the scientists. I don't have any money. Oh, come on. It's almost done. Just... Oh, I'm totally broke. I think that looks great. I think that looks fine. I just have no money. Oh, no one's spending 20 bucks on this. What's wrong with them? It's eight minutes long. I think that's a great price. How about $18? Anyone? No? 17 17 All right. Works for me. And then turn this around, blow up the trees because they're good for nothing. Uh, take our handyman, named after a dude in the chat, make him clean up some vomit. And just gotta bring this back to the platform. And then we can test it and find out it's actually not rideable. just left in this mug. Eh, about a third of it. Alright. So if I were to spill that on myself again, it wouldn't be catastrophic. Have I ever thought about recreating Mr. Bones' wild ride? I could! Prefer to be a little bit more original than that. Than to just make a bunch of things other people have already made. You know, like no one's ever made a ride that does this. I'm sure they have. Uh, okay, so this is almost there, except there's all these trees in the way. And now they're gone, except I've got no money. The pulmonary pulsator. Maybe, that could work. Why not? I could probably charge more money for this. Like six bucks. Also, I never play this game unless I'm streaming it. The piano pacifier. Procure parental permission. All right. I wish this game let you put those signs in that said you have to be this tall to ride and let you adjust the height. That would be great. You can make it so only really short people are allowed, or like only basketball players can come in. That would be horrible, actually. Well, this is almost at the end. I just gotta bring it up a couple more units. Love you too, Kesef. Whomever you are. Random internet dudes. What do people think about the observation deck? It's in rotating lift mode, as opposed to like space shuttle mode where it shoots in this space. Uh, what does this say? I can't afford passive pillar. I have 40 cents. That's enough to use the toilet four times. No one. No, 31 people have used the bathroom. That is... That is not a lot of profit. Alright, well this is almost done. I just gotta procure about a hundred bucks and then we can finish it. Do, 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 do. Come on, ducks. Make me money. Please? Hmm. Now once that comes back to the station, it should come up with a bit more money. Also, I need 1,400 guests in the park without any propaganda, ad campaigns, anything. That's going to be a really, really hard thing to do. 
1,400 guests. I currently have about 260. Year one is almost over. All right, so I spent a whole bunch of money on this river ride. I don't even know if it's going to be rideable, to be honest. Um, Because it's kind of... Yeah. Not very safe. Continuous circuit mode, all right. I don't know, what do you guys think? You think anybody's gonna watch this, or um, ride this? At all? I don't know if it's even going to have rideable stats, because I really don't build river rides. Or rainbow flowers would ride it. I'm not sure what makes a good river ride, but I'm fairly sure it isn't this. Hmm. Uh, the guy with 40 cents probably spent it all somewhere else. Uh, like this. You have 30 cents. You've spent most of it on rides. This poor guy. I'm gonna name him... I don't know. You. I guess I highlighted your name first. There. That's you. Decurl, I think I also kind of highlighted you as well, so I'll just make you both dudes in here. Decurl, who can you be? You could be this guy who wants to go home. Oh wait, you can't, because he already left. I don't know, wait, he's... still here, but I can't click him, so... Also, that went at almost 70 miles an hour. That was horrifying. There, you could be this guy who's already got a park map and only has 20 cents left. I don't think boats are supposed to go underground at 70 miles an hour. Holy hell. <laughs> that is a horrible thing. I just checked the altitude and, uh... How are we doing? Goes up. Goes up. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Gee, I wonder where the drop is. Skrillex would be proud. Alright, so this is almost at the end. I don't know about the G-forces. How many Gs is it pulling? It doesn't tell you. <laughs> Velocity. Boring, boring, boring. Oh my god! Boring, 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 boring. Max is out right at about 70. Which is infinitely more than the rest of it. Hello to sing. Almost done with this tea. Hopefully it's not all on my lap by the end of the stream. Hmm. And it's almost at the end. It's kind of not really hmm it's a really slow ride you think something that goes 70 miles an hour would go more than two for most of it like the average speed's probably going to be i'm gonna take a guess five average speed of five that's what i think it's gonna say it should go 70 miles an hour the whole time I would be totally in favor of that. Average speed, 3. It pulls 68 going down, and then average speed of 3. It goes so slow, it barely goes above 2 miles an hour for the average. That's really sad. But apparently it's really exciting, and intense, and it doesn't make people barf. So... That sounds like a good ride to me. I'm gonna charge 10 bucks and see if people spend that. Do, 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 and 10. And I'm gonna open it. Despite the fact it doesn't have an entrance or an exit. Crash this into the log flume. Can I go down? No, I can't. I gotta go up. 
Do, 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 do. Now I have to go down. Do, 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 do. And ooh, where am I? Can that connect? It can? No, oh, wait, it can't. It's a wacky perspective. There we go. Well, that works. Ignore the fact there's no exit, and if you were to ride it now, you'd fall and drown. Just ignore that. Uh, is anyone going to ride this, or are they going to say it's too expensive? No one can afford it. Except this guy. This brave soul, guest 172. Better known as you, Kesef. Only person brave enough to ride River Ride 1. We've also just invented the concept of a burger bar. It is a bright day in our theme park. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, hmm. I can't put any of that. Oh, whoops. Should put the chat back. There we go. Die tree. Where am I taking this exit? No place good. Tree in the way. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's kind of okay. And uh, now we need a name for River Ride One. Keep in mind, or keep in mind, the name of the park is Pickle Park. No, I didn't name it. But in the spirit of the park, everything has to have a P in the title. And by have, I mean it needs to begin and end with... No, wait. No, it just needs to begin with a P. Never mind. The Pant Pisser. I like that, actually. The Pant Pisser. The Plume Plummet. The Pickle Plunge. Oh, man, these are all great. Hmm. I don't know. There's going to be plenty of time to name other rides. Haven't even gotten through the year, or the uh, first year yet. Only issue is that I don't have that much money. So, got to hike up prices on the bathroom. I didn't name anything poop, because I'd like to think I'm more sophisticated than that. What are people thinking? I feel sick. I'm hungry, all right. I've got just the thing. How about hot dogs, because they're cheaper than burgers? Oh, there we go. Only 50 cents, that's a horrible profit, hang on. How much do burgers bring in? One dollar, all right. Sounds good to me. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of garbage cans everywhere. Okay, good enough. The pneumonia plunge. It's kind of against the spirit of the naming, I think. Even if it does begin with a P. Puke producer was great. I'm sure it was. I want to go home. I've spent all my money. I can't afford a burger. This man is starving to death. With only 40 cents in his pocket. What are other old games that are fun? There are none. It's only this one. Oh no! No one's spending $17. How about... How about 15 Please come back online. No, no. 14 10 10 bucks. You're gonna spend it. You're gonna like it. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you, pink shirt man. You've saved the day. I give you the name of this guy. Nebo420. Let me just save this. Okay. You know what the people crave? People crave a hedge maze. And not just any hedge maze, but... The worst hedge maze ever. I just gotta find a place for it. 
Uh, and I don't have one. Hmm, well, I've got no space. I guess I could put it over here. Alright, I'm just gonna build them all here. All of them. It's the whole horrible bunch of mazes. Oh, wait, that didn't turn out right. That is in the wrong place. This is how you make money, by the way. Uh, I'm just gonna build a whole bunch. Do, 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 do. Empty maze, rotate, put there, okay. Empty maze, build, rotate. I don't know if I'm going to name all these. That would be kind of a lot. Empty maze, rotate, no. There we go. I wonder which one will be the most popular. Why is it in the game? Uh, it's actually, oops, it's a design I saved. Uh, it's not, it is not uh, a default thing. Empty maze. I just made that for the sake of not having to build it every time I want one. Which is quite often, because, whoops, built in the wrong place. I build empty mazes all the time. Because they make a crap ton of money, considering they only cost $27. It's pretty much the cheapest thing you can buy. Okay, well, I think that works. Perfect. Better than perfect, even. It is Hedge Maze City. What materials am I using? Well, hedges. It's just made of grass. Tree in the way. Do do and there. All right. I'm gonna get rid of that now. Do do do. Oops. I don't want that actually. These things have a bad habit when you're building the entrance queues for uh, getting stuck on each other. Like they'll connect entrance to entrance, which doesn't really work. There we go. And my new idea is you, if you want to get off the ride, let me think. I want to make it so, if you get off, you have to walk past all the other hedge mazes to leave. Okay. This is how it's gonna go. We're gonna put a Do Not Enter sign right there. And then here, a Do Not Enter sign. Except it's not facing the right way. Okay. So, if you want to ride... You will have to leave this way. So if you want to leave, that's fine, but you'll have to walk past all of the mazes. And chances are you'll probably go in another one. Only problem is that I need to open all of these. And not only do I need to open them all, but I need to set the maximum people to 16. So I can cram 16 people in a one by one square. I just blocked off my exits. Oh, wait. I didn't put this in the right place. This should be over here. There we go. You can read that sign. It's just covered up by another sign. Alright, so I think I did the first four, right? One, two, three, four. Did I click that? Sixteen, 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 and four. Hmm. One of these things is not like the other. 16. All right, this one, this one, this one, this one. I've lost track. This one, this one, this one, and that one. Okay, there we go. Easy money the game, pretty much. Just capitalism the game, really. If only life worked like this. Well, I don't know if anyone's ever tried it. You could be a millionaire if you just give it a shot. It's pretty much just like the tactic they use in every Ikea ever. 
You know, if you want to leave, that's fine. You just have to pass by everything else. There we go. Perfect. Now, um... Actually, if I were smart, I would put this entrance over there. Or not the entrance, but the no entry sign. So people don't walk down here and then get turned around. That means they'll spend their money even slower. There we go. So I've got... how many mazes? I think ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I've got eleven mazes here in a row. Give me a sentence that... It doesn't even have to have P's in it, because if you have a sentence with 11 P's, 11 P words in a row, I would be amazed. Um, but just come up with a sentence with 11 words in it, and I'm just going to name each one one of those words. I'll just have it scroll. Yeah, Alright, that mug of tea is done. Half of it ended up in my pants. The 11 shade of maze. Fifty Shades of Maze. Hmm. What's the big deal with that book, anyway? Presently pl- oh, that's a- that's a tweet I sent out. Totally stole that. Presently playing Pickle Park Propaganda Prohibited Pen is possible, please partake. Pickle Park's Predictable Path of Paradoxical Possibilities. That's about half. What if I just call them all P? Just a bunch of P's. That's it. Just all of these. Just P. Oh, I can't name it that. Hmm. Just, just, just P's. Oh no. That doesn't work. Hmm. Never mind, then. One of the maze P. Pickle Park's pleasantly perfect pickle pleaser. I don't want people to get the wrong idea. Hmm. How about P? PP? Alright. PPP. PPPP. Also, nice thing about hedge mazes, they never break down. PPPPP. And six P's. PPPPPP. It's like Morse code except with P's. PPPPPPPP. PPPPPPP. Oh, that's seven. PPPPPPPP. Nine. PPPPPPPP. P P P P P P P P P P, and then eleven. P P P P P P P P. I don't know. Whatever. Close enough. That's eleven. I can count. What are people thinking about this? Probably nothing. P P P P P P P was great. All right. I can't afford P. Well, PP is a really good value. I don't know about the rest of them. This guy spent all of his money. Hmm. He should get a name for that. How about you? I already named you something. You! Perennial hero. You spent all of your money. Now you get to join in. Needs an ATM machine. That is not a thing in this game, I'm afraid. And now I have three grand, which is almost enough to build a real ride. Knowing me, I'll spend it on a car ride that takes two years to finish. Uh, do 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 do. What can we make? Not much of anything. Uh, do do do. Well, we could do this. Kind of. I could make a mini roller coaster because they're cheap, and that's about it. I'm already on year two, yeah, we need a thousand more guests, and I can't run propaganda. Which is going to be a bit of a problem. 
I guess propaganda kind of makes the thing really easy to win at. But, um... If you can't run it, and you're used to running it all the time, it makes it really hard to win. Tree in the way. Arr. Die, nature. What have you ever done for me? Just hold me back. I don't know where this ride is going, but it's safe to say... all the way to the bottom of the map. And people say I don't have any vision. And then it just comes all the way up. Look at that. It's beautiful. 11, 12, 13. Oh, it doesn't fit. Hmm. Can it come up one more like that? Oh, it can. There. Perfect. That's a great ride. It's a ride you build when you're really, really poor. It's the austerity coaster. That's not a complete circuit. Oh, <laughs> that's why it's so cheap. Because when you get to the end, you fly off. <laughs> hmm. That's... Well, that's no good. What height is that then? Oops, that's path. I don't want that. I want on ride tracks. That's at a height of 14. Oh, it's got to get to a height of 13. Oh, okay. Right. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, now it doesn't work. Okay. Well, I'll just have to make it work. 12, 13. There we go. Not only that, we can give it a really nice, smooth, banked curve. Well, we could, but that would cost more money. I'll just give it a really short one. There we go. Perfect. I love how that train barely fits. Which is to say, it's just really unhappy to be there. That's the rumble seat right there. Alright, well... I'm amazed I can fit two trains on it, so there we go. Let's see if that works. Also, I love this game too. Believe me, I've played so much of it. And there it goes. 64 miles an hour underground. I think that'll be fine. I don't even care what the rating is. I'm just gonna open that. Someone's in my bathroom. I don't know why I feel like I have to announce that every time. Oh great, we've invented Roman objects. Now I can put them everywhere. Like this. Great. It's like another coaster's there, but... Oh, actually, I can blow these all up. I can put little... Oh, I can't put the cabins there. Those are too big. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, I guess I'll just go with that then. Perfect. Just as the Romans would have done it. Hey, none the artist, your name sounds vaguely familiar. Okay, well, stats are low, medium, and low. I'll just charge 250 for that and open it up. If you put enough decorations around it, it will increase the excitement. Although, I don't really have that much money to waste. How about a... log cabin? Great, that, that looks like it was always there. I'm actually majoring in feng shui, you see. Here's a bunch of columns. work of genius. I, I feel like this is my best work yet. 
it is a fusion of classic and contemporary influences on my mini roller coaster. I like the Da Vinci of theme parks. There. Looks good to me. Now the excitement's 2.5, no, now it's 2.6. These columns have made it 0.01 arbitrary excitement units more exciting. Perfect. Call it the pillared plunge, all right. Have I tried Kerbal Space Program? Yes, I did. I made a horrible mess of everything. Also, why is this guy not cleaning up my puke? Well, I just need uh, about 900 more guests in the park by year three. So that's okay. I think we're on track. I'm gonna put all of my money into... All right, max out the funding, I don't want any of these. I only want scenery and roller coasters. That's it. I want a steel coaster and a bunch of really gaudy things to stick around it. Let's see. So we have three grand right now. I could spend that on anything. I can make a great ride, I can make a car ride that goes for hours long. Which is why I think I'm going to do just that. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm not even looking, because it's going to be great. I don't need to pay attention. Because car rides are always destined for greatness. And so the land won't get in the what era uh, won't get in the way. We'll just build this car ride entirely underground. There. I think that works. I'm never gonna get the money back on this, ever. Hmm. That's already most of my money gone. should probably start bringing it up. Probably not enough air down there anyway. Mm -hmm. Get rid of that. Tree in the way. Get rid of that. Height 13, 14, and 15. Turn, turn, and then connect it into a tree. Do, 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 do. There. Perfect. I think that's great. I think it's the best. The best ride in the park. Oh, wait, hang on. Now it's the best ride in the park. Wait, not done. Now it's the best ride in the park. Yes! Make it pink. Cover it in cat cars. Now it is a work of unbridled genius. needs one more thing. It's a whole bunch of... Actually, I don't even know. Let me think. What can I put around this to make it even better? The pink pussycat? That works! Alright. Let's make this a burgeoning city of cat cars with houses everywhere. It's just like the real Old West. And on this one piece of land... I'm gonna have this giant Roman statue. Great. It's like the Oregon Trail, except you don't go out in a covered wagon, you go in a hot pink cat. Works for me. How is this doing? 2.65. It's even gotten more exciting. Thanks to all the columns I built. Do, 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 do. 
a uh, whole bunch of puke here. We might need another handyman. Hmm, I think we do. I'll just build this one, and, uh, of course, need a name for this handyman, so we'll call him... you. Kasuno. Oops. That's not the backspace. That's the backspace. You could be the handyman. If you're still in the chat. Later than Hanyuik. Hanyuik, if I can pronounce your name correctly. Probably can't. Thank you for watching. And this goes for everyone else. Consider following if you want. That'd be great. Or not. I don't know. Whatever you want. Doesn't really matter too much. Where else could you get the great combination of roller coasters and people in the bathroom? There's lines on everything, that's pretty good. How exciting is this? Oh wait, it hasn't even finished one circuit yet. Hmm. That will be a while. Hmm. Hasn't even gotten above ground. Well, I'm sure once we get there, it'll be great. Those hot pink cars will make it fantastic. In the meantime, I have almost two grand, which I could blow on something stupid. And you know, I think I will. Oh wait, this is... It's probably a bad idea if I've got a no-entry sign in front of the car ride. Although the fact that the line is full means maybe it'll work? I guess if you're already back here, you're the kind of person who wants a gentle ride, given that you already had to get there by going through a hedge maze. So I guess it works. Can I have more cars? No, I can't. Oh man, we've invented jumping fountains. Now I can put them everywhere, and then people can break them. Yay, now they're beautiful. This park is gaudy as anything. what the Romans would have wanted. The Romans had jumping fountains, I'm sure they'd put them everywhere as well. Do, 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 and good. There goes all of my money. Oh, wait. Finally finished the circuit. Excitement is 0 .9, <laughs> which is not very much. Oh, well. Totally worth the investment. Is this Pretension Park? It could be. $20 umbrellas, you know it. It's the only price to set them to. Let me see. Can I build another horrible rod? I hope so. Let's let me think. What is the best ride you can build for cheap? Hmm. Maybe if you don't bank any of the turns, it might be exciting, or it might kill people. I haven't quite decided on that. Hmm. Well, we'll find out. Do, 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 do. All right, so if we make this go up... And then turn it. And make it go up again. Because why not? Alright, that goes flat. Then it turns and it turns and then it slams right down to a height of 10. Like that. That's 12. Hmm. And then it just turns without any banking on that. This will probably snap someone's neck. Hmm. I wonder if you can explain to the lawyers that the person who got injured probably deserved it anyway. It's probably not a legal defense that works. Uh, can't build that. Now I can. Okay, so that's over there now. Just have to connect that. 
Can I make a roller coaster go into the water? I can't. Alright, so I want that to connect. And I think if I just turn it, it's good. There we go. Okay! Entrance not built. Alright, entrance and exit once I get rid of that tree. This looks safe to me. This game works on Windows 7. Yes, it does. Currently playing it on Windows 7. Works just fine. And here's my rod. Brakes are needed. Nah, we're good. No real need for safety on this. I'll worry about that when people get injured. Just an unnecessary expense. And there it goes. At 45 mile per hour hairpin turn. Par for the course when you're talking about Jersey driving, so I'm sure it'll be just fine here. It's only four G's. Average speed's only eight. All right, it's fine. Is it exciting at least? Call it the pimple popper. <laughs> Low, extreme, very high, so no. No, it isn't. Uh, okay, well, just... Just ignore that, then. I'll just throw a... bit of banking onto that turn, and suddenly... It's a pinnacle of safety. Oh, except for that part. I'll fix that. Let's see, it's going at about 40 miles per hour, we'll just have the brakes go to like, 4. There. Works for me. Hairpin turn and uh, immediate stop. Yeah, just, you know, whiplash the ride. My anti drinking and driving PSA. If you've ever wanted to experience a car crash without actually being in one, well, we've got the ride for you. There, perfect, that looks safe. I think it's great. I don't know where I'm taking the pathway, but I guess I'm not taking it over there. Oh, man. Uh. Oh. Too high. So that works. Hey, 7 sit. It only still pulls 4 point... or uh, 3.89 G's. And now it's medium, medium, and high. It's rideable now. Just makes you want to barf, but that's okay. A lot of things do that to people. Probably doesn't induce any more nausea than the average episode of the Jersey Shore. Uh, do, 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 do. I can connect that up there, can't I? Hmm, no, I can't. Call it the paralysis party? Maybe. Precarious plummet? I just gotta find a way to put the exit on something. Not there, though. Hmm. Can I go up? Oh, almost. There we go. Alright, we're set. Let me just put some benches so people don't puke all throughout the park, which they'll probably do anyway. Pre-med practice. I'm gonna go with the precarious plummet. There we go. Open it up. And let's see if people actually ride it. Apparently the pillared plunge is doing okay. How many people are in line? One person. I can't afford p p p p p p p p p p p. Hmm. Oh god. Everyone thinks it's great. How's this? Excitement still point nine. Really good value. What? 
Great, I'm gonna raise the price. Thanks for the feedback. You just ruined it for everyone. So everything's got a line. We've got a green arrow, which means guests are coming in. It's a pretty good park so far, actually. Uh, as mentioned, or as I, uh, I think I mentioned before, the gimmick of this park is that you can't have any kind of, uh, any kind of advertising. So it kind of makes it hard to bring in people, but, um, I don't know, it seems to be going okay as long as you keep building rides. Uh, I wanted to say something else and then I forgot. Uh, yeah, I lost it. I don't know. I got a new coaster, apparently. Oh man, a steel wild mouse roller coaster. I hate building these. These two things I can never build right. They never work. Everyone just hates them. I can try, but it's probably going to be terrible. Uh, maybe I'll build one over here. Just not really good at making these in such a way that people like them. Is that a chain? I think it does. It's kind of hard to tell. It doesn't even work. Uh, turn it, turn it, and then go up. Also, every time you play this game, make sure your um, umbrellas are set at 20 bucks a pop. People will pay that. That is a lot of easy money. Okay, and then it goes down, and then it, I guess it goes straight for a bit, and then it turns, maybe. Oh man, this is exciting. And then it goes straight, and then it goes down, and then it turns, maybe. Then it goes straight, then it goes down, get this. Then it turns, maybe. Then it goes straight, then it goes down by one. Uh, is this gonna work? Let me see. What if I'm making a profit because I'm not spending all the money on advertisements? Well, that would throw my whole philosophy on its head now, wouldn't it? Where does the exit end? Well, hmm. Out of space over there. Raise or lower land. Okay. That's great, because I can't actually see. Oh, there we go. There's the problem. Uh, I can just make that go underground, can I? I can. So this part should probably go underground as well. Just to fit in. And be a rebel. Right, and then turn, and great. Oh wait, go flat. Okay guys, what do you think? Is it going to work? Uh, I can't seem to find a place for the entrance and the exit, so... Answer is no. No it isn't, because I... I can't put the entrance or the exit anywhere. No, wait, I could put the entrance. I can put the exit down, I just can't put the entrance anywhere. Great. Um. <laughs> Whoops. Just just forget that you need an entrance, just, just walk onto the track. It's just for show, yeah, at this point. I can put the exit anywhere. Just the exit or the entrance can't fit. Um, I can't even tell. Let me see. Oh, well that clears it up. <laughs> I can't tell what anything is. All right, I have an idea. Maybe. Alright, turn on invisible supports. 
do 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 turn 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 okay uh what if for example i did this i put the entrance down here it doesn't work all right well never mind that was a horrible what if what if i did a thing and it still didn't work station platform is too long could i put an entrance on it no 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 god damn it This is awful. This... Oh, man. I'm kind of dumb, I think. Wait. Entrance! Alright, we're fine. Only problem is that... That's gonna hit the ride. Hmm. Alright, well. I'm going to... I'm not ch I don't know what everyone's yelling at me about. Okay, just just ignore that for now. I I have a plan. I don't want to con No, leave that. All right. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it go up over that one part where the entrance has to be. For absolutely no re Oh, I can't cuz there's a river ride in the way. Here? All right. That might work. It's probably not. Oh, wait, hang on. No, where is... Okay, go... S no, go straight. Also, one of the rides finally broke down, so I guess this means I need a mechanic. Because I never got one prior. Can okay, I go down, go flat, then turn. No, don't hit a tree. That's bad, no, don't rem er, I can't even remove the tree, because I don't own that land. Okay, so go straight. Then go, no, go straight, then go down. No, not there. Go straight, go straight, go straight. Turn. Down, no. Down. Straight? No. Straight, straight. This is not what I wanted this to be. I just wanted quick, easy money. Okay, now, can I even put a pathway there? I can. After all of that, it still doesn't fit. Yes! <laughs> God damn it. Um... <laughs> Uh, what if I put the entrance here? Oh, wait, I can't, because that's not part of the pathway. Alright, just blow that up. It's not letting... Oh, that's footpath. Now I can't see anything. I'll make it work. You wait and see. It'll be great. It will be great. You hear me? It will be great. I'm not accepting... Anything else for an answer. Okay. It will be great. There! Also, one of my rides is broken and I don't have any mechanics, so let's make one. Now we've got one. Do needs a name. How about you? Schnee Wishin. I probably mispronounced your name. But you're the mechanic. You're hired. You got the job. I'm sorry. Okay, great. Coaster's done. Entrance is there. Exit's there. Let's see if it's even rideable. Maybe I wasted all of my time making a ride that nobody would even want to go on. If this is unrideable, I'm going to cry. That would be awful. Spend all this time and money and effort on something people hate. It looks okay so far. Maybe? Hmm. That hairpin turn looked a little bit dodgy. Let's see. It turns. It goes. It might get stuck on the track? Oh, wait. No. 
Looks okay to me. Maybe. Might need a break here, though. Or a wider turn. Alright, and the answer is... Uh... Please be at least medium exciting. You know, I've got so much faith in this, I'm just gonna start building the pathway out now. No way it could be bad. High, very high, and medium. That is actually pretty good. I think. I'm gonna charge seven bucks. And it needs a name, which I'll get to later, because I just want to build the entrance. So I can finally stop working on this. No, it was a tree in the way. The people pleaser. Alright. Why not? I'm just going to open that, despite the fact the entrance goes nowhere. River ride in the leg. Alright. Oh, hey, that connects to something. Uh, where's the exit? Oh, there it is. Wait, can I even... Hmm. Uh, I might have a bit of a problem here. I can't... I can't build the exit out. Oh. Heh. <laughs> eh. Uh. Hmm. Uh, can you guys just, like, not go on the ride anymore? Because we don't have an exit. Just, just don't go anywhere. Oh, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop. Don't go anywhere. Go back in the platform. No, you people. Alright, exit. Exit's gonna go somewhere. Can it go there? No. You know what? Forget it. Doesn't even get an exit. I'm just going to open it, and you're just going to fall down there, and that's it. That is the exit. If it breaks, well, we're screwed. I'll just make sure it doesn't... Well, if it breaks, I'll have to demolish it, actually. Because it will never get fixed. Alright, I take that back. I actually need to fix this problem. This is why I can't be a politician. Okay, go forward. Can I make it go up? Can it go flat? No, it can't. Can it do this? No, well, maybe. Forward, forward, uh, uh, no, it can't. Alright, can it go down? Uh, oh, footpath in the way. <laughs> that footpath is only there because I put it there so people wouldn't wander off into nothing. Now there's going to be people just lost. Oops. Sorry about that. Oh, is that all lined back up again? And bottom's a little bit off. There we go. Oh, kind of. Alright. Now there is no footpath there, and everyone's wandering around to random places. That is great. Okay, so this has to connect to that if that is even possible. It might not be. Is that connect? It looks good, actually. Let me test this out. I think we might be in business as long as I can build an exit. I can build an exit that goes one path long. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on. There we go. It is free. All these people down here will probably never find freedom, but... I can't even see who's down there anymore. That guy. He's kind of nonplussed. Oh, now he's happy. He loves being lost. I'm gonna give you a name, Guest839. You can be this guy. You could be Aaron with a whole bunch of R's. It's too crowded here. That's what happens when you rejoin society. Do, do, 
do 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 some jerk broke all of my benches where everyone's throwing up. Why would you do that? Alright, so. This is now even more exciting now that I built that other hill. Great. Let's open it. Let's start making money on this. And let me save the game. Eight and a half thousand dollars so far in the bank. That is actually pretty good. That is a lot of money, especially for me. Oh, great, we've got a bobsled roller coaster. The great thing about these is that they fly off the track. They're not supposed to, but that's kind of what happens when I make them. That's why they're the perfect one for me. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's start it here. No, let's not start it there. Let's start it here, I think. Uh, the theme is just to name everything with P, because the name of the park is Pickle Park. No, I didn't name it. Just kind of came that way. This actually gets reasonably high. I didn't know it went this high up. Well, it doesn't. Can I make it go higher? Well, no, I can't. Alright, ignore that part then. Do I only usually play Roller Coaster Tycoon? I play other games occasionally. I play this a lot because... Oh, I can have a chain on it going down. That's really weird. Um, I play this a lot because it's fun, you get a lot of viewer interaction, and... I don't know, people watch. <laughs> And that is a reason as good as any, as far as I'm concerned. I don't know where this is going, by the way, but... Good answer is underground. It's like a horrible bobsled nightmare that may or may not shoot you off the edge. If it does, I apologize. I don't even know where that's going. Uh... Do, 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 do. Raise or lower? Okay. Where? Where did it end up? Probably not anywhere near where it should be. Oh wait, there it is. Underneath all of the Roman junk. There we go. I see it. Uh, I will play The Sims again one day. I did know there's a prison tycoon. Uh, I don't own it, however. Makes it kind of hard to play it. Why is there Roman junk? Because it is great feng shui. Remember that eight grand I used to have? Well, I, I don't have it anymore. It's pretty much all kind of gone. At least we got this hit bobsled ride. That's what the kids are into these days. Dubstep and bobsleds. What special parts can I put on this? No. No, that, that's not an answer. Um, what special parts can I put on it? Uh, helices and uh, S-Bends. Sorry, I don't know why I said no. It's got all the best parts, like no, no parts. Do do do, I can't build that. Oh god, that's expensive. Boring. It's not boring, it's great. You just can't see half of it. Are there rides, or uh, lines on everything? Actually there are, alright. I don't need to increase prices then. 
All my mazes make me all that money. Hey, we got Egyptian theming objects. Oh wait, hang on. Here's a whole bunch of gravestones. And Mr. Bones. Hmm. I can just build a crap ton of these, can't I? I totally can. Alright. I'll keep that in mind. I just want to make the park a giant graveyard. Whomever came up with Mr. Bones' wild ride was a genius. Absolute veritable genius. This park isn't full of skeletons, just full of a bunch of horrible 19th century objects and Roman junk. Also, by the end of year three, we need to pull in about 500 more guests, so... Hopefully we can do it. Hopefully the bobsled works and doesn't kill everybody inadvertently, which kind of happens occasionally. Don't tell anyone. Anyway, thanks for watching at almost 1 in the morning. I do appreciate it. Hmm. Did I save before I made it? I didn't. And now I did. Okay. Just gotta finish this one part. If I can get the money. Oh, it's made up of bobsled cars. As opposed to normal cars, I guess. Okay, turn, and then... Can't build that, of course. What do you have to do tomorrow? Well, I've got class tomorrow. Only difference is that I've got class at 11. So I can afford to stay up a little bit late. May or may not stream tomorrow. I need to check... Oh, I can't build that there. Kind of need to check my schedule on that, because I have a couple of exams coming up. And, uh, as fun as it is to build coasters, uh, it will never be my living, as is probably readily apparent. So I need to make sure I don't fail. Also, if I didn't build all these Roman things, I'd probably have more than enough money to have this thing done already. Hmm. Again, these rides fly off the edge, so I'm wondering if I make it go down by one unit, if it will go too fast and shoot off and kill everyone. That's a concern I have. Uh, can I do this? Hmm, what's that go to? 11? That might work. It is 6.55 a.m. and then in an hour you need to go to university for a study project. Hope it has nothing to do with coasters. Or physics, actually. Any ideas what I want to do with bio major? Um... A couple, but nothing ultra-concrete. Looking into various biotech options, med school's kind of on the back burner. Not sure. It's assuming I could ever get into med school, actually. Um, I don't know. Oh, wait, that might work. If I can build that, that might be okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be like everyone in Gattaca. I'm going to engineer people so that they are able to withstand the G-forces on my coaster. Why don't I go to Rutgers? Because I wanted to go out of state. Lived in New Jersey. 18 years. Let's take a break. Alright. 
can I build that? No, can I build that? Yes. Oh no! I just built this ride and there is no way to complete it because it's always going to hit that coaster. Oh god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Why didn't I look at that first and realize that wouldn't work? <laughs> Alright, that's, that's fine. That'll... Ah, it doesn't work either. Why do I keep doing that? There. Fine. Whatever. Everything I've ever known about this ride has been thrown out the window. Okay, I gotta get it to a height of what? Height of 16, 14, 15, 16, alright. Do a couple of S-bends, except they're not gonna reach. Okay. No! No money. What monstrosity is this? It's brilliant. We're the safest park in the country. Just wait until I open this up. Now I'm losing guests. Nobody has any faith in me now. Come on, guys. I'm never gonna finish the ride if you don't spend your money. Okay. It's good. What do you think? You think it's going to work? Answer's probably no. But that's okay. I need to test it out anyway. And there it goes. I'm just going to build an entrance, even though it'll probably crash. Oh great, a steel corkscrew roller coaster. Nothing can go wrong there. Hmm. Hmm, can't build that. Flat, flat. No. Can't build any of that. 66 miles underground. Does it fly off the end? No. Oh, God. <laughs> um. Hmm. No, stop crashing. <laughs> um. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, that's. That's a problem. That's a big problem, actually. Don't worry. It'll be fine. All right, I'll just take it to a height of one. It's not gonna crash. It never crashed, all right? Never. That didn't happen. You understand me? You saw nothing. Why am I building that all the way down there? That's a really bad place for that to go. Why don't I just build it on top of that? There we go. All right, it's fine. Don't worry. never speak of that again. Oh, that doesn't connect to anything, does it? Okay. Totally safe, not gonna crash. Right? 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 Yes! Okay. Looks good to me. And here it goes for the second round. Yes? No! No! No, 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 no! Oh, no! No, 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 Stop, stop, stop! No, 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 no! God, there it goes. Into the tree. 
Um, well, good thing I put an entrance there. Let me just put the exit. I love how all that barf is starting to overlap. Okay, well, just ignore that. That didn't happen. Okay, this is at a height of what? That's 16, that is 23. Turns out there's a difference. Okay, here is my solution. I just need to figure out how that connects. 18, 19, 20, 21, turn, turn, crash onto itself. No, that's no good. Turn the other way, I guess. Okay. This time it won't crash, I promise. Won't crash because it's never going to get done because I don't have any money. Think of how much safer the park would be if nobody ever gave me money to build these death machines. I do promise. It'll be fine. It's not going to crash. Absolutely no way it will crash. It just looks like it's got this horrible tumor sticking off of it. it. Used to have these nice concentric helices, and now it just got this giant detour right there. Also, my park rating is going down, probably because there's barf everywhere. Because most people are thinking I want to barf. All right. People are also thinking they're real. Oh, shouldn't open that. People are also hungry. I can fix that. How about burgers? It's got meat, it's got bread, it's got lettuce, it's got all of the food groups. Except the fact it's too low and no one can ride that. Or eat that. I guess you can't ride the burger bar. Alright, so far so good. Hasn't crashed. Burgers. The patty producer, alright. This is where it crashed last time. Note how it doesn't crash this time. Just barely. Is it Patty P A T T I E or P A T T Y? The palate pleaser. I'm gonna make a drink stall there and name it that. Right, so far it hasn't crashed. So far, so good. Oh no! <laughs> God damn it! Man, screw this ride! I, I've got no faith. God damn it! I've got no faith in anything anymore. I did promise. I'm sorry. Okay, so it went from a height of 23 to a height of 16. Apparently that's not good. Go up. Go to like, I don't know, 22. Now I'm broke. Again. Even if I manage to finish this, I don't think it's going to be good enough to ever recoup the cost. As in, ever. It's just gonna be stuck wasting money. Does that even connect? No, it doesn't. It's one off. Okay, I go down. Go flat. Don't go flat. Just that's gonna hit another coaster, so can't do that. Okay, can I go up? 
Nope, that hits another coaster. Okay, so that's the part there. This needs to go over here and go up to a height of... God, I'll stop hitting the other one. Okay, this time I promise you it won't crash. For real. No way, no how, is this going to crash on anything. I even have chains going down. Like, the, the descent going downward is controlled. I, I'm leaving nothing up to chance. Also, how do people barf so much after riding my hedge mazes? That's kind of crazy. Okay. Not gonna crash. At all. Also, I really need 500 guests really fast. Uh, what are guests thinking? I feel sick. I'm hungry. Where are you hungry? You're hungry here. Okay, well, I'll just build a burger bar over... No, oh, I guess there's one over there already. God damn it, guys, stop throwing up everywhere. This park is gross now. It's all your fault. Okay, so far, so good. Hasn't crashed. Still safe. Clean up that barf. Need more handymen, you're probably right. Alright, didn't crash there. Looked like it was going to, but it didn't. And that's an important distinction to make. Where even is it? There it is. I love how it, like, hangs off the edge. I don't feel very good about that turn. I feel if you put people on it, it will crash. Okay, crashed here last time, but it's not gonna crash here this time. Okay. Oh no, it's gonna crash here. No, I see what's going to happen. Oh, wait, no, we're still good. Never mind. It made it. <laughs> I would never ride this. All right, it's fine. Better be worth it. I only crashed three times. Better have an excitement of like 20. Or 7. Alright, well. One successful test means that it will never crash. Potential paralysis, I like it. Everyone's probably gonna say, I'm not riding that, it's not safe. I value my life, which is not the kind of demographic I want to get in the park. Alright, well, it's time for a bunch of giant desperation rides, so... Time for a merry-go-round, because I need people to come to the park really badly. And if I build a bunch of new rides that are all junk, maybe that will attract more people. Who likes scrambled eggs? Everyone. Okay, entrance, that thing. Exit. Take those guys off that bench. Pulsating something. Yep, that works. Pulsating something. I'm also gonna save this as a separate save file just in case we don't win. Scrambled. Whatever. Now it's about winning the scenario, not having a witty name. And also my park rating is going down the toilet, oh god. 
Is there that much barf everywhere? Oh, I think this these exits are screwing everyone up. Alright, might as well get rid of that. Answer is yes, there's a lot of barf. Alright, three more handymen. We gotta name them. This guy, Handyman 5, you're gonna be this guy. Fireman 22555. Do a good job. You, somebody just barf there, clean it. Handyman 3. Uh, you. Bones 313. Oops, that's the back space. Handyman 4, you. Fail 23. Okay. And you can... I don't know, clean up this barf. Oh god, it's just a circle of barf. That's awful. How to... Oh, man. What is wrong with these people? They just barf everywhere. Oh, let me fix the chat. Hey, now the park reading's coming back up. Has this had a voyage yet with people actually on the trains? Hmm. Potential paralysis looks too intense for me. I know what you mean. Alright, this is the first time I think it has gone off with people actually riding it. And with any luck it won't crash. Because I think if you put any more weight on it might behave differently than the tests. Which might not be a good thing, because here I thought it was going to crash. Also, wow, that is a horrible mess. A bunch of barf right around the burger bar, that's great. Okay, hasn't crashed, I think it'll be okay. As long as it doesn't crash here, wherever that is. Oh, there it is. This is the only other really sketchy place on the ride. You know, one day it's not gonna crash. It'll never crash. It'll be fine. What are guests thinking? I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. I'll build toilets for you. If it doesn't crash there, it's good. Okay. Time to build toilets. How about one right there, except... Just, just sneak in between the railing. Hmm. There we go. This is not where anyone needed to use the toilet. Also, let's make it 10 cents because I'm not running a charity here. You better really have to go to the bathroom. Am I gonna do another scenario after this one? Uh, no. I've got class tomorrow. And I need 600 guests really, really fast, which is going to pose a big problem. Like, a really big problem. Um, hmm. Okay, I just gotta put rides everywhere at this point. If I don't put rides everywhere, we might lose. I can't run ads. The stipulation of this scenario is no ads. Uh, okay. Entrance. Exit, I don't know, the P slide. A lot of effort into these names. Um, all the punks are breaking my benches, yes. Yes, they are. All right, let's build another slide right here. Yes, perfect. It's purple.
didn't even mean for this to be, or, uh, to be a hub for rides, but it just kind of ended up that way. Alright, how about over here? This has got a bunch of things that could connect, or, uh, could potentially connect to other rods. Also, all my garbage cans are broken. Hmm. Okay, where's that corkscrew coaster? I think if that has powered launch, I might be able to make something out of it. Oh, okay, it's got the fun hanger too. Perfect. I had already planned for this then. I just gotta find a place to build the fun hanger. Came prepared. There we go. The fun hanger too will save the day. If I can get the money. Come on, come on. I've got faith that will work and not crash. Oh god, what is this? It looks terrible. Alright, good enough. That is a horrible ride. But if it works, I guess we'll have to deal with it. The pun panger, good enough. More rods, just get more people in here. I just don't crash. Alright, let's build more rides. Just, just rides everywhere. How about ships? Yeah, boats, alright. Boats are great, let's build some. Great, that works. More boats. Can I charge money? Five bucks so I can afford even more boats. Excitement's like seven or six. Totally worth it. I can't run propaganda. This scenario says you are not allowed to and it doesn't even work. Lower the price. No! They gotta get more rides. That's the only thing this park really needs. How about a ship? How about a ship over here? That's great. Alright. Oh, this broke. Fix the puke producer, come on. Fix it faster. Having a bit of a crisis here. I gotta come up with 600 guests immediately. Okay, 500, but... Even still, that's a lot of people. Propaganda is prohibited. I guess I could save. Um, I am getting more guests, though, so that is a good trend. Also, that is a lot of barf. Wow. Come on, more people in the park. Come in. Killing me here. Uh, what's another ride I can make? Uh, I don't know how to build any of these really fast. More mazes? I don't think that'll work. How about... Uh, I already built all of these. Uh, train! Yeah, those are great. Everyone loves trains. They're great for boys and girls. It's going to go in a circle. Yay, then it hits a tree. Put my heart and soul into making this one. Hope it works. Entrance, exit, give me the money. Please, I don't want to lose this scenario. I've never lost the scenario on stream. Oh, God! <laughs> uh... I think I'm... <laughs> I think I'm going to lose the scenario on stream. Why didn't you fix the puke producer? No. That's 20 guests I really needed. Oh, God damn it! Alright, there goes the park. Just, just give up on it now. Thankfully, I don't have to pay any insurance claims on that. 
Great. Railroad. Open. Whatever. Time to resign. No. It's fine. Right? It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Nothing is wrong with the park. Everyone is happy. And nobody died. <sighs> what are you thinking? I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, well, go. I mean, you've already vomited everywhere. Can't stop you from doing all your other bodily functions on the pathways. Hmm. <laughs> How about down here? Great. Toilet. Fantastic. How about... Where are there people? Over here. Hmm. Let's put a bathroom there, except it probably won't fit. Oh, it does. Alright. I play Roller Coaster Tycoon all the time. Don't worry. So it's May. <laughs> I have got June, July, August, September, and October to come up with 500 guests. Which is not going to be an easy thing to do. Is the entrance free? Alright. Maybe I should just make all the rides free. I'm going to do that. Everything's free. Everything. Everything ever. Is this even possible? Uh, at this point? I don't know. Let's find out. It's all free. Welcome to desperation. I need money to pay for upkeep. Well, if I don't build anything, it's okay. I can run a whole lot of money into debt. And uh, as long as you don't want to build anything new, it's okay. I can't build any desperation coasters. I don't have the steel coasters available. Alright, just, just make all this free. All the money is just going to come from the mazes because there's too many there and I can't be bothered to make them all free. Don't be station breaks. Alright, that's a log flume. It's fine. Everything is just going to be free and that's it. Potential paralysis? No, it's free now. No problem. Four fifty? No, it's too much. Don't make the rides free. Nope, I'm gonna make everything free. <laughs> it's the tactic of a broken man. But if it works. If it works, that's all that matters. Just gotta not lose. Uh, all these other things I'll just make cost money. Alright, and now it's just time for pandas because, I don't know, I'm out of ideas. I am losing guests, yes. Alright, just, just go. How many are there? 110. Okay. Godspeed, Park. Hope these pandas save the day. I'm gonna be in so much debt. Oh god. This is gonna go so badly. Oh, please don't crash again. Alright. So this is, uh, the desperation strategy. Don't break, don't break, don't- Oh, god damn it! Oh, crap! <laughs> hey, I hope you wanna see a coaster crash, guys, cuz... Yep. <laughs> Ta-da! Uh, is this one gonna crash, too? No. That one's fine. I don't even care about the park rating or killing 16 people. Just the fact that 
I don't have 16 people in my park anymore. It's a bit of a problem. Alright, just pandas. Pandas, free rides, welcome to paradise. Just. Just, just take these pandas, okay? I don't care about the guests, alright? I don't. Just, just. Just take the pandas. I just need more guests in the park. More pandas for everyone. Ignore the fact 30 people just died in a month or two because my rides exploded. Alright, that's, that's not the issue here. Has this been fixed yet? Can I open it? No, it's still broken. Where's my mechanic? Don't head for the pant pisser. Head for the thing that's broken. Ah. Entertainer 109, you're done. I need a new mechanic. This mechanic's gonna be called you. Actown. You are the mechanic. If a ride crashes, it will be on you. Alright, I'm bringing in more guests, although not very many. Okay. Everything's fine. Just dance on the puke and garbage. <laughs> and that'll make the park a success. More people, please come in. <laughs> no, no exit sign. Makes your park rating go to hell. Alright, Green Arrow. I'm officially broke forever. But that's okay. It means more people are coming in. I've got June. June, July, August, September, October to bring in about 500 people. I don't see that happening, but you never know. It could. Probably won't. So anyway, how are you, chat? What happens if you go bankrupt? Absolutely nothing. In case you wanted some proof of that, for example, uh, I've gone really far in bankrupt, or really far in debt, and nothing happens. I also went really far in debt so I could make a theme park with only one ride, and still win. And I did. Actually, this surprisingly worked. The secret was to get everyone on a queue line. Ta-da. But the answer is no. You you will not lose the game if you run a deficit. So. You can be really financially irresponsible, and as long as you don't plan on growing your park, it's fine. I tried making the park with no rides. I tried making the park with only toilets. It didn't work. You need at least one ride. And the trick to win on that one is to get um, everyone in line. Because if they're in line, they're not going to complain about being bored or lost or anything. Okay, so we killed a whole bunch of people and built a whole bunch of pandas, and now suddenly the park is great. Um, the objective on that one park with all the lines was 250 guests by the first year. So that seems good to me. I, I think maybe we have a chance. Everything's free. We've got a bunch of pandas. Park rating's going up. Guests are coming in. With any luck, this will not go bad. It probably will go bad. How am I making money? Oh, uh, it's raining. and People are buying $20 umbrellas. Also, I just lost my green arrow, so that's no good. Also, consider following the stream if you want. Because I play this game entirely too much.
please come into my park. Odds are you will not be on a coaster when it crashes. Stop leaving, no. No, don't you go. Yeah, you better not leave, guess 2238. Don't crash. Alright, good. 450 guests to go in like three months. It might happen. That's a lot of people coming in. I'm going to say it. I think I think it's going to happen. As long as it doesn't crash anymore. Alright. I think we're good. Here comes a giant influx of people. Please come in the park. Never leave. Oh god, I'm so broke. Alright, what are people complaining about? Not like I can really do anything, because I've got no money. I've been standing in line for ages. Okay. I can't fix that. Good value, good value. That's because it's free. Oh. Well, it's broken, that's why. Okay. Park is saved. Nothing bad can happen to the park. Crashed. Okay, now it's open. Oh, it's still broken. There. Fire a couple entertainers, replace them with mechanics. You're probably right. Sorry, entertainer one and entertainer two. Need more mechanics so everything doesn't break. Two more mechanics hopefully are enough. I'm gonna name them you. Shaz182. And you. You did this guy. Prospector. There. Godspeed. Save the park. It's out of my hands. No, don't you dare. Okay. That's the one that crashed last time. Alright, I think we're okay. New ride, inverted roller coaster. That's great. I've got no money for it, but I'm I'm sure if I built it it would be it'd be a gas. Park ratings going up after killing 32 people. That's what I like to see. Pandas make everyone forget. Just walk up to a panda and it sprays gas in your face that makes you forget all my rides crashed. Hire more janitors. Nah, I'm alright. You don't need to hire janitors if you have enough pandas because people don't complain about the barf. Okay, 400 guests to go. I think it'll be okay. Oh no, the people pleaser broke. Okay, safety cut up. Not too concerned about that. All the ambient college noise in the background. Higher security guard. Nah, I'm alright. No, I'm not gonna lose this scenario. I'm not. It's gonna go just fine. I feel sick, I want to go home, I'm standing in line, da, 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 da. I feel very sick. This path is disgusting. Hmm. Guess 1781 says that. As he spends a dollar to ride a maze that goes straight. It makes me think you really don't have an opinion that matters. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, a, gun, a bunch of guests died, but that's fine. If you build, I don't know, how many? 107 pandas. No one minds. Fill the park with fluffy, cuddly things, and suddenly everybody forgets that dozens of people just died because of my horrible negligence. Although people really need to come into the park. I need 350 guests in right about three months? Maybe. With any luck, we'll get there. Hmm. I play this game all the time, Mr. Girth. Don't worry. To the detriment of other games, because everybody asks me to stop playing this. 
One day I'll find a game that I like as much as this one, but... Until then, it's just coasters everywhere. Best way to get people into the park is a new ride. You're right, except I am four grand in the hole. So, no. The best way is just to make everything free and hope for the best. Hmm. Is this free? Seven bucks. No, now it's free. Please, come to the park. We've made the people pleaser free. How about this? Is this free? Alright, that is. What isn't free? Merry-go-round. Now it's free. Please, just, just come in the park. If it's only for a couple of minutes, I understand. You don't have to spend any money. Just, just let me win this scenario. Because I've never lost one on stream before. Oh uh, no, the loans are maxed out. I think I did that in the first week or two. Is this free? That's free. Is the Crooked House free? Okay, 304 more guests. What happened? Everything happened. All my rides crashed. Kill someone. I already killed a whole bunch of people. 20. And then... Uh... The other people died. 20 and 16, so I killed 36 people on this. Not a good day. Also, I streamed Sims Theme Park at one point in time, and honestly, it's not as good as this, I would say. It's not as fun. I feel like you can do more stuff. I feel like this game is easier to make something. Like, it gives you more options, and... I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. Just that. I think this is a better game than Sim Theme Park. Discuss. What about the original Theme Park? I don't know, is that a game? Uh, Windmill, don't worry. Once we finish all the scenarios in this one, I've got Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 that somebody gifted me, and we will move on to that. Sims Theme Park has pretty much no physics on anything. Like, at all, from what I remember. You can just make rides go up and down forever, and it never crashes. Or anything. Okay, 300 more guests, park rating is almost maxed out. Everything's free, I'm losing money everywhere. I'm bleeding money out of every orifice. But that's okay. As long as the guests are happy. Hey, Hill Home. Oh no, don't you dare crash. Okay. Restraint stuck open. Alright. I don't know why that's a problem, but... I'm just got the duct tape and stick people in it that way. Hey, me pro. What's my plan after the scenario? I don't know. Cry. <laughs> Depending if I win or lose. Um, actually, again, I have class tomorrow, so I need to sleep after the scenario. Assuming I win. If I don't win, I'm gonna have to go back and make sure I do. I've never lost a scenario on stream. And, um, hopefully I won't, but you never know. I've come really close. Also, blah blah, consider following the stream and Twitter, and it's also called Monotone Tim and whatever. Also, this fun hanger is a really bad ride. If you've seen it in action. I think I had the camera on it once, but... This is a really stupid design. Once it gets going... Just needs two more people. Go. Launch. Don't launch. Alright, just wait there then. Hmm. 
Yeah, just end the stream before the last week and then I don't lose. That works. I'm still amazed this whole thing actually functions without going over the edge. Okay. 350 more guests in August, September, October. Three months, 350 guests. It's gotta be close. It's gonna be really close. Don't you dare cr Okay, no, it's... It's a log flume, they don't crash. Gotta get 110 guests per month. Are there any stats on that? No. Not really. I, I have faith that it'll happen. It has to. I have no money. <laughs> I've got so little money. There was one point where it looked like I might have made money. And then, just like all my coasters, it went down to oblivion. and It's not coming back. Yeah, suddenly the log flume water all gets replaced by gas, and, uh, thing bursts into flames. Can I put a do not enter sign at the entrance? I could. Then the park rating would go down really fast. Okay, almost 300 guests left, and then we win. It's gotta work. They are exiting, but I would rather have the park rating stay at something manageable than for it to go down to zero and keep an extra ten people in the park. Make everything free, way ahead of you. That's why I have no money. May was the last month I made anything, and then I made the rest of the rides free, and I've been running a deficit ever since. Oh wait, actually, all the mazes cost a buck. Because I can't be bothered to change them all to zero. Free food, eh. You gotta pay money for something. What are people thinking? Been standing in line, been standing in line, wanna barf, been standing in line, it's crowded, it's great. Standing in line, I'm thirsty, too bad. Okay. This'll be great. This guy, however, does not believe the ride that crashed is safe. I should give him a name. Uh, you can be called this guy. Ragger1. Why am I saving so often? Because if I lose, I would like a place where I can pick up where I at least had a little bit of hope. That's why. Also so it doesn't crash, and I'm also really compulsive about that. Okay, 200 more guests to go. It'll be okay. It's gotta, it's gotta be okay. It is August. August 13th. September and October, all that's left. Less than 200 guests. Are you still a mechanic? Yes, you are. Unless I accidentally drowned you, which, I mean, is always a possibility. Oh, you're inspecting this, so I guess I can't. I'll just drown this guy instead. Nah, just kidding. I need my mechanics. I can afford to not pay the mechanics, because if I threaten them by drowning, they'll work for free. Also, my god, is there so much barf in this park. There's vomit everywhere. Hmm, let's see. That's a bit of a mess, isn't it? I think we need some pandas there. Do 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 do. Hey, you guys, there's a whole bunch of people you can entertain. And or give nightmares to. Whatever works. Pandas, 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 go! Entertain everyone. Save the park! 180 guests. Please come in. Come on, yellow pants. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a guy who wasn't in some sort of cycling race wear all yellow. This guy's special, and he needs a name, so... You, Popcorn Colonel. 
You could be Mr. Yellow Pants. There. Forever immortalized your name on a guy with horrible sense of style. Negative 10k, yes, because I made everything free in a last ditch effort to save the park. Gotta get 1400 guests without any advertisement. Am I a panda? I am not. I mean, if I've got 107 pandas in my park, I guess I'm one by association, but personally, no. Alright, 160 guests in two months? September and October? I think it'll happen, as long as it doesn't crash. I think it'll be okay. Please don't crash. That would be awful. That would be really awful. Hmm. Thank god my 19th century village is here for good luck. Hmm. That's where all of my money went. On stupid things like that. Yeah, the whole park just crashes. Also, stop spending money on things. I can't afford them anyway. It's like making a hobo watch the new iPhone unveiling. Just make him jealous for things he can't own. Things he can't afford. Also, stand-up roller coasters are kind of really bad. I can never make them work right. I don't even know what they are. Who are these? They have loops. Alright. Okay, I need 140 guests. August is almost over. It's gotta happen. Don't- oh, you can't crash. It's a car ride. Average speed is 3. Even if it does crash. Can't see it being a bit of a problem. How about this guy? He leaves happy. See? That's what we want to see. He spent $2.80. $0.10 cents on rides. Oh, God. All this wasted potential. All this money I could conceivably make. Like you, how much do you have? 50 bucks. You're not going to spend any of it, are you? 70 bucks. 50 bucks. 40. 70. Never gonna get any of this. 70 again. I keep clicking the same guy. How much is it to enter the park? Nothing. Zero dollars. 60, 70... I think they can come in with up to 90, but I might be wrong on that. Maybe it is only 70. Okay. 110 guests to go between September and October. I think we have a chance. As long as nothing crashes. I can't afford to have any guests die. Not for moral reasons but because they make the numbers go down, and that's sad. Why are there so many damn pandas? Because the park rating's sky high. If there's ever a problem with your park you need to solve, but you can't be bothered to solve the actual problem, just make a thousand pandas, and everyone's happy. Okay, we're good. There, There is no way this is going to lose. Ninety guests, green arrow, whole bunch of people coming in. I think it's good. It's not because I'm a businessman, it's uh all the science courses I take here. Only thing that matters is the data. All the numbers. What people think doesn't matter. How people feel about the park. The quality of the rides? Yeah. Just the number of guests, that's all I care about. 
And right now, we only need right about... Oh, we just got leap guests. Um, right about 60. And we should be okay. September's almost done. No, oh, no, it's not. It's only 11. This is held together, yes, with string and tinfoil. Just kind of like paper clips and bubble gum. That's my theme park. No! Don't you crash, don't you... Okay. Never crashes with safety cut out, only crashes with station brakes failure. Because if you notice when this ends, it doesn't have brakes, it just uh, slams right down into the station. If you put brakes before it, it would be okay, even if the station brakes fail, but... I didn't. I'm living life on the edge. Alright, 40 guests to go. I think it'll be okay. Uh, Albor26, I've tried to win with no rides. Doesn't work. It's impossible. Okay, safety cut out. Whew. I think we're okay. This scenario started off really badly because I spilled a mug of tea on my lap in the first couple of minutes. And then all my rides crashed. And uh, I should have known from the beginning it wouldn't be too easy, but I think we're okay. Is this Panda Express? Yes, pretty much. I want to say five, but it's not at five. Okay, five guests to go. I think it's okay. Four. Countdown, guys. Three. Two. One. Okay. We're good. 1,400 guests, $15,000 in debt. The pant pisser broke, but I think that's a water ride, so it shouldn't make a difference. Those don't crash. Except for water slides, they crash all the time. Alright, now I'm gonna make the entrance 50 bucks. Actually, what if I do? What if I make this... Oh. You can't afford it. Oh. I only have 40. <laughs> he just walks up to the thing and leaves. I should probably save before I do anything really dumb, actually. I can pay down the loan. Alright. We're good. All I need is... 15... 500 more guests in a month, and the loan will be set. Oh, I could have done that math. <laughs> 15 divided by 3. Whoops. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Okay. I might as well just lower this. I'm never going to pay that loan down. I'm just going to start naming people at this point. Like you. You're leaving the park. I'm going to go home, you think? Oh, I can't name you because you just left. Station brakes failure. Oh, well. It travels at two miles an hour. No way that'll blow up. Okay, anybody thinking anything unique? Hmm. I haven't finished my drink yet. Says guest 1867, better known as Moop 548. 547, even, because I can't read numbers. Who else? Do I have any interesting numbers? Guest 666, no guest 999? Probably not. Oh, wait, yes, guest 999. You can be this guy. I think I already have Darzaz in the park. Mm, let me double check. No, well, I don't. Never mind. Who else? Do, 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 do. Guess. Thirteen thirty-seven. Yes. Elite guest can be you, Fireman two two five five five. I want to get off pant. Oh, I already named you something. Hmm. 
You then. Crystal Beauty. You can be... Guest 13, 37. Oh god, my green arrow went away. <laughs> Hang on. This could go really bad. Alright. It's October 1st. I've got a buffer of 30 guests. If they all leave, they won't come back. Make the park free again. It already is. No, no one leave. Don't you dare. Alright, more people are coming in. That's fine. Uh, guess 2222? Two, two, two? I wonder if that's in the park. 2222. Jumping fountains are great. Thanks. How about you? I already named you something. How about you? Hail to Carnage. That's you. Guest 2222. If you're still even here. I think it's okay. I can't imagine 40 guests just up and leaving. I think we're okay for now. They're all just gonna leave, aren't they? Something's gonna crash and it's gonna kill 40 people. Just you wait. Guest 483. He's got 10 cents. Because he's been here for... how long? Does it tell you? I thought it did. He's been here for two years in game time. He spent all of his money, and now he can ride everything for free. Genius. Guess 483. You are one lucky bastard. Which is why you've earned the name of... the you. Shaz 182. Oh, I already named you something. Did I? I don't remember that. Are you a mechanic? Oh, you are a mechanic. Never mind. You then. No, I already named you something. You. Ragger 1. Did I name you something? No, I did. You. No, it's still Shaz. You. No, you're also Shaz. You. Time keeps on slipping. That's you. You are the oldest guest in the park. If I say you anymore, I'll start sounding like Soldier Boy. Okay, 61 guests. Rating is good enough, even if it's going down the toilet. That's fine. Let me just save it. Can't imagine I'm gonna lose, but I could. 15 day. No. Oh, okay, that's the observation tower. That doesn't crash. Safety cut out. I'm cutting out all the safety in my park. Oh no! <laughs> oh, vehicle malfunction. That's no problem then. Since when has a vehicle malfunction killed anyone? Seems to be functioning just fine to me. Also, consider following the stream if you want. And the Twitter account, which is also just Monotone Tim, to keep up to date with whenever I stream random crap. Or mope about my life, which I try not to do on Twitter. Suddenly 500 people die. Oh god. No, I got the green arrow. It's fine. Nothing bad can happen. Even if everything crashes. Nothing bad at all. Even if this guy guessed... 2115, better known as Mid Snack, were to be sacrificed to the gods, nothing bad would happen in the park. Nothing. Park is fine. We're not going to lose this scenario. I put too much time into this. How many days? Only 10. Only 10 days left. Not gonna lose 70 guests. I can't drown them that fast. Well, 
I take that back, actually. I bet I could. I... Yeah, in, in fact, I take that back. I can totally drown that many guests. Hmm. Let's see. Now, can we still... Oh, no. No, we can't win anymore. Never mind. That's... Might have been a bad idea. Alright, well, just... Just forget that. This is why we save. By the way. Oh no, don't don't leave the park. <laughs> no. Stop drowning, you're fine. Now this broke. As long as it doesn't crash. <laughs> Whoops. Hmm. Well there's the problem. Alright, I'm gonna load. No, not save. Load. Okay, there. If I'd saved over this, that would have been... a horrible. Oh, God. Could you imagine... if I'd accidentally saved over this? Oh, God. So much barf. How does this happen? How do you barf next to the hedge maze? That's awful. Follow the yellow barf road. Is Midsnack dead? I think he is. Yeah, I think I still killed you. That's alright, don't worry about it. He'll reincarnate as someone else later on. Like you. 2.9. I meant to say O, oh, but 2.9 sounds more futuristic. There, we got Midsnack back. But can he get in the park before the scenario ends? You've got five days to walk. Can you make it? Do 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 do. do. Take in your sweet time. Why do you come to a theme park tired anyway? Oh come on! Could you walk any slower? Come on. Park closes in three days. Two days. That's what you get for making me wait that long. Er. Keep the line moving. No place in this park for mid snack. In his slow walking ways. Alright. October 30th. Just gonna save. Nothing bad can happen. Wait, I have an idea. I've got... <laughs> it's October 30th. Can I get away with this? I wonder. Is the park rating gonna go down fast enough? <laughs> we won! As the park rating goes to zero. <laughs> That's fantastic. Wow. <laughs> I did not think that would happen. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, forgot these guys. Enter name to scenario chart. <laughs> I don't even know. I've got no name that I could even put in this that would describe what just happened. Alright. Perfect punctuation. Kinda killed a bunch of people, but that's okay. No, oh, they're still dying, apparently. I'm sorry, Midsnack. We all have off days. <laughs> I can't believe that worked! Do the one where I killed over a thousand people. Oh. You mean the one where I killed... 
4,200 people? Is that the one you mean? It's a little bit more than a thousand, but... They get to a point in this game where you just sort of have no problem beating the scenario, and this is just sort of what you do. I'm trying to get it up to 5,000 one day, and then I'll make a recording of it on YouTube or something, but I only have 4,200 people at the moment. Also, the game is really slow. Also makes a fish as they drown. And just wait for it. Kind of. Sort of a fish. It's like a little alien head, I don't know. Wait, wait for it. There it goes. Zero. <laughs> Ta-da! That's what you do with entirely too much spare time. And, uh... It took a long time to get everyone there. First of all, it's year six. Second of all, I had to do this. Pretty much make it so if you entered the park, you had no choice but to walk up to that platform. Pretty much, you just keep going. I want to get that to 5,000 people. One day. And it's not too difficult to do. Um, it beeps a lot. Let me turn the sound off. What I need to do is to put a no entry sign here, first of all, so they don't turn around. Like that. And uh, connect this again. And everyone's just gonna walk back and forth. Okay. And uh, I gotta open the park, which I think it already is. And have to have a whole bunch of ad campaigns. And this is the way you get a whole bunch of guests in the park at one point in time. Just keep running ads and people will come in over and over. Uh, only other problem is that eventually you do need to kill some rides off, like the Are You Happy Now, whatever that is. This park also has a bunch of really stupid names. For example... Oh god! Wait, don't walk off that way. No, go, go forward, what are you doing? Oh wait, there's a sign that way. That's the problem. Get back on the path, guys. You're ruining this. That's the problem. They just get confused if there's a no-entry sign right in their face at the entrance. Also, if you want to hear what this sounds like... Horrible, horrible beeping. Over and over. But we've got great rides like... The Rate Limitation Device, which I think... I don't even remember. The part where he kills you. Yep. Um, Bill Cosby's Frasnazzle Dazzle? I don't know. I made this at least a year ago on stream. Um, let me see. What's this? The Okra House? The Burger Return Station? Toilet and Bathroom Zero? Quenched to Thirst? Let's see, what's this? My other log is a Redwood? Because it's all log-shaped cars. Uh, this? The boring white thing? The slow, pathetic tower? The not a phallic symbol tower? Hmm. I think I had a monorail that was called Monorail Tim, but I probably deleted that. Oh, the stair climbing simulator? Oh wait, this is the one with Grandma's Buick in it, that's right. It goes at, like, two miles an hour. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's the same one. Uh, do I have anything else interesting? P and me. <laughs> That's such a horrible name for a bathroom. 
I mean, I guess it gets the idea across, but... <laughs> oh, never mind. And then we get a whole bunch of people going back up to this where they need to be. Look, I got a green arrow, despite no rides being open. The Panda and Atari All-Stars Racing. Hmm. Jason's Prison. Dimes for directions, because the maps are a dime. Dr. Breen's Special... Special... Special Reserve. Uh... Now with 75% meat. Not a fry stall. Do a test run of Grandma's Buick. Alright. I remember it being really horribly boring. Yeah. This is why it's Grandma's Buick. Because it does this. Am I the best Thriller Coaster Tycoon player in the world? I... I kill off like 4,200 people in a clip. I don't think that means I'm very good. Is Sweepa de Puke in this? No, he's in another park. That was in the Mafia theme park. Like Clean a de Trash, Scrub a de Puke, um, Fix a de Rides, Turn a de Bolts. That was all a different park. Do a test run of Bill Cosby's Fraz Nazzle Dazzle. Alright. It's not a very good ride. Like, at all. but it somehow works. Now the real challenge with this park is can I keep enough money in the park to spend on advertisements to keep enough guests in here so I can get them up to 5,000? You would ride that in real life. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of apparently really intense. And also colored really badly. Is this the new scenario? Um, at the moment, I'm trying to get over 5,000 guests in the park at once so I can drown them all immediately. As you can see, these people are making this walk all the way up here. Because there is a system of no entry signs where they have no other place to go. Essentially, they enter the park and they end up there. Oh, soda stall. Aperture soda. Hmm. That's not a very good pun, is it? Trickle down economics. As the bathroom. <sighs> King Harkinian's dinner castle. Porcelain cathedral. Uh, I'm running out of things I named. Crab juice. Will the guests buy umbrellas? Only if it rains. Actually, <laughs> if it does rain... No, actually, now that I think about it, most of them probably won't, because if they want to go home, they won't buy anything. Better than the topiaries. Ooh. Oh, Bill Cosby's Frasnazzle Dazzle is still going. Let's see, what else did I name? Another damn bathroom. Uh, do, 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 do. Burger Bar 1. It's ironic. Google is your friend, I think, is an information stand. Uh, another information stand selling $20, um, or $20 umbrellas called I Hope It Rains on You Idiots. Toilet stall called How to Fake Using the Toilet. Hmm. Nass burger, not Chinese food, not a fry stall, not a phallic symbol. Uh, I still think P in me is the worst name for a toilet ever. Or ever. I don't know why I called it that. Wait, how am I making money? Oh! That's why I'm making money. Admission's a hundred bucks. Why is admission a hundred bucks? <laughs> I was wondering, where's all this money coming from? That's where. 
Wow. And you know, that actually kind of works. Only issue is that it turns away people who don't have that much. But I think 70 is the bare minimum somebody in this scenario would come in with. I've found um, on the original game, people tend to have more money than the expansions. Because the expansions have, uh, for whatever reason, maybe in an attempt to make it more challenging, people come in with like 40 bucks in the original one, they all come in with at least 70. Why I made it 100, I don't know. Because in general, you don't have 100 bucks to enter the park. Although I guess it does keep the balance, or the budget balanced. Best thing is, they will never turn around as long as they have enough money for the admission and the rides are free. So my goal at the moment is to maybe get 5,000 guests in this 2x2 two two square, and then to sync them all at once. Also, game runs really slow over here. Let me just save this. I'll save it as Evergreen Gardens 3, just in case I did something that's not sustainable. So I'm just going to get to 5,000 people and then just make a recording of this and throw it up on YouTube and... I don't know. I haven't thought about what happens after that part. If they end up with no money, will my park rating go down? No. No, it's it's been at zero for years. Um, It's never going back up. Especially after I kill 4,400 guests. Nobody cares, it seems, that my park rating is zero. I've also maxed out the guest counter. The game was not designed to have this many guests in it. It's really weird that I'm making so much money on a park that's designed to just take people in and then kill them. That, that boggles my mind. That there are so many people coming in. I got an award for what? Worst value and safest park. Alright. Those don't seem like they should go together, but... Alright, whatever. Also again, if you turn the sound on... Everyone is lost. What are people thinking? It's too crowded here. I wanna go home. I'm tired. It's too crowded here because they're in a 2x2 two two square with 4,500 other people. That's why it's crowded. This man has been in the park for 4 hours, 52 minutes. In game time, that's almost 5 years. Guest 500. 5 and a half years. Favorite ride, Grandma's Buick. Why are more people not coming in? Oh. No, wait, propaganda's still good. Is there a limit for the number of people in your park, I wonder? Because I should have more people coming in. No, wait, here they come. Just a temporary lull in the action. Can I put pandas in the 2x2 two two square? I could. Only issue is that once you get near the 2x2 two two square, it lags a lot. And another problem is that handymen and other service people do not obey the do not enter signs. So I could put them in, but what I would have to do is break this path and uh, then dump them all in after the fact. Which is totally doable, it'll just take a while. So we're almost at 4,500 guests. Once I get to 5,000, I'm just going to plunge them all into the water. will be a little while. I should probably be sleeping because I've got class at 11 a.m. tomorrow. But uh, it's only class for an hour. And then I've got a three-hour break until my next class, so I guess I can take a nap after that. Give them a patrol route. I could, but the thing is that you'd have to set the route for all of them one by one, and that would take kind of a long time. And all my ad campaigns are done, so let me fix that. 
Okay, free, I don't know, drinks, I guess. Ad campaign for the park. Come to the park where you will probably die. It also costs 70 bucks. So thanks again, guys, for watching. It's pretty awesome, given that it's 2 in the morning. Assuming that every person there weighs the average weight of 150 pounds, you have 700,000 pounds of people meat on that platform. People meat. Those are two words I've never seen back to back. People meet. I, I hope to never see them again, to be honest. Greetings from Germany. That's awesome. Night then, MRM13D. Have fun not drowning. Hmm. Really not that much to do until more people come in. And... I don't know how to get more people to come in. Oh, I've lost my green arrow. Maybe if I make the admission free. Will that help? I really don't need money. I'm not spending it on anything much. Name some people. There's 4,500 of them on a 2x2 two two square. I think the game is reaching a limit of the number of people it can have in the park. Oh man, I named all these things as well. I totally forgot. Karate Tiger, Kung Fu Panda, Bob Dole, Baba the Builder, Fired from Home Depot, Grease at the Joints, Little Bill, that guy from last time, Titan the Screws, Dr. Hinkle's Handyman 8, Kid with the... Kid with the Power of Heart, Liberated North Korean, because we had a North Korea theme park, Stink Annihilator, Scrubba de Barf, Tenna de Flowers, The Trash Whisperer, and Tool to Society. I forgot these all had names. I'm also going to blow up Dr. Hinkle's, because I want to test something. Yeah, I've reached a limit of people. No more people can come to the park. I deleted one staff member, and exactly one more guy comes in. Okay, so... If I get rid of Bob Dole, for example, one more person will enter, right? Yeah. There are too many people in this park. I, I cannot have them in here anymore. They just... They, they are taking up spots, so now two people should come in now. I consider this a monumental achievement. I have found the maximum number of people you can get in a park. What I want to know is... If... I get rid of all the staff, can I put the staff back? No, okay, too many people in game. So there's a limit. You cannot get more than... What is the limit? Oh. Well, his replacement didn't come in yet. Alright. Too many people in game. So... I don't think getting rid of the trees will help. But, um, it seems like the limit's really odd. It's like 4,530-something. And past that, nobody else will ever come into the park again. I don't think it's a sprite limit, because it specifically says too many people. Not, well, I guess it wouldn't say too many sprites. I don't think that would confuse anyone. Or, uh, I don't think they would say that. It seems like a thing normal people wouldn't understand. What do you mean, too many sprites? Alright, so... Too many people in the game. You can have, at max, 4,532 people in-game at once. No more than that. I've gotten rid of all the staff. I can't put more staff in. I'll delete some trees. I don't think that'll make a difference. 
It's I don't think it's a sprite limit. I think it's a people limit. I mean, I got rid of a bunch of trees and it's not making a difference. No one knew it was coming in. Uh, I'm gonna blow up the slow, pathetic tower. I'll blow up the not a phallic symbol. I'll blow up the part where he kills you. I get me more guests. Oh, actually, well, wait, it's... Hang on. Hang on, it's... That's really weird. Then wait, what is it based on? What's the limit? I deleted a big ride and I got... Eight more people? But... Do I have to delete everything? Delete the signs because they have animation. Hmm. I need to keep some of them, though. Well, I guess I have to get rid of the rides, then. Bill Cosby's Frazznazzle Dazzle. How many people is that worth? No. No people. I guess if I just make the park nothing more than a means by which people just walk to the end, then I... Hmm. I don't know, I just deleted a whole bunch of stuff and it doesn't seem to make a difference. I don't think it's trees either. I feel like trees would be really arbitrary. It might just be general stuff. Run campaigns. Uh, I already am. I don't think... I don't think it's an issue of pathing. What, what, is it not... Like, what, too many pathways? Or too few pathways, you think, would be the issue? Like, there's not enough space, so the park just doesn't let you add more people? I don't think that would be it. I didn't get any guests for the Razzle. Build Cosby's Fraz Nazzle Dazzle, so I don't know what the guest cap is based on. Doesn't seem to be based on pathways, I can tell you that much. I mean, I got rid of a couple of trees. I'm getting rid of a couple of the extra no entry signs. I can get rid of the queue lines that don't go anywhere. Um. I mean, if you want, I could just sit here and blow up trees. Here's a drink stall called The Last Drink Stand. Is anybody new coming in? No. Just keep an eye on the total. 5441. If blowing up trees makes more people come in, maybe it's the jumping fountains. Hmm. Because those animate. I don't even know where I just saw those, though. Maybe I dreamed them. Could have sworn there were jumping fountains on here a minute ago. Uh, let's blow up this go-kart track. Five, four, four, one. That's what I mean to say. Okay, wait. I, I blew up a ride. I blew up a bunch of trees. Now more people are coming in. Hmm. This is really weird. What is it based on, then? I got six guests for blowing up a giant ride and a bunch of trees. Seven guests. Maybe it's based on... I don't know why it would only be trees, though. Like, trees and people count as the same thing. I'm wondering if any of the plants have anything to do with it, because the plants change, and maybe that's an extra thing the game has to keep track of, whether or not the plants are dying. I'm going to get rid of this information stand, don't really need it. Maybe there's too many no-entry signs? I don't know. I don't need back-to-back -back ones, though. Maybe people were stuck on the ride. What ride? 
I don't know. I'm... I would love to know... Oh, there are jumping fountains. I would love to know what this game uses to put a guest limit on. Because it's clear to me that it's not supposed to have this many people in the park. I mean, the, the counter just doesn't go at that point. It's just flat lines at the top. Maybe I could just blow up... Oh, God! So many umbrellas. Things that hold people. That seems really weird, though. What, it counts like potential people? I blew up Grandma's Buick. My other log is a redwood. Those are big rides. Oh, well, that's a problem. There. So that's worth a couple of people. That's almost a dozen more people, so... Hmm. I'm just gonna start deleting everything. I mean, everything that animates... Maybe the game just considers it... I don't know. I really don't know how this works. It's the rides and not the sprites. Hmm. I'm running out of things to delete, then. I'll blow up the boring white thing. How many guesses is that worth? I'm a boring white thing. I don't think we're going to get much past 4,600, but... I'll try. I don't even think I've got any rides left in the park, to be honest. Oh. I've got the okra house. I think I need to leave at least one ride in the park so I can have an ad campaign for it. And just in case, I'm going to start deleting all the pathways. Because maybe they've got something to do with it. I kind of highly doubt it, but... You never know. I'm at 4586 guests. I just deleted all of this pathway. Does that make a difference? Doesn't look like it. Try building a roller coaster with a limit. Uh, I could... sure. Let me see. Do I have a steel one? I'll just build a fun hanger. I can't imagine there's an error in this game that says you can't build. Yeah. So wait, what if I build it? I test it, and then I delete it. I wonder if that would do anything. No. Okay, so... I'm just gonna start deleting trees, and we'll see if that makes a difference. This is some high-level roller coaster tycoon theory right here. No, no one. A lot of trees in this level, though. I mean, for all I know, elevation could play into this. I'm really not sure. But if I get to 4600, I'm going to consider that pretty much top of the heap. Everything the guests can interact with would probably limit the amount of people who could enter. Okay. Well, I haven't increased the number of guests, so trees isn't it. I'll blow up that bathroom. Does that do anything? No. Uh, so it isn't trees, it isn't... I don't think it's stalls. Probably not. It's not pathways, because I deleted a whole bunch of those. As I'm still doing now. Hasn't made a difference. Um, blow up a drink stall. The last drink stall. gonna say no change? This is pretty much the biggest map in the game, so... If this doesn't work, I'm probably not gonna get anywhere. Although having an ad campaign would certainly help, because there's pretty much no reason for anybody to ever come in this park without ads. 
That's why I have to have at least one ride so I can have an ad campaign for it. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on. So people are coming in. But... So that means it could have either been the stalls I deleted, or the pathways, or the trees. Because they only started coming in until I put the, um... The advertising campaigns. So it, now it could be anything. Can I buy more land? No. Okay, so I have an active ad campaign right now. Just started it. I'm going to see if it's pathways. From like here, down, I don't need this. Four, five, nine, five. I'm gonna get rid of all this. Then all this. See if that makes a difference. Probably not. Uh, hasn't done anything yet. So I think it's safe to conclude the pathways don't matter. Okay. So, pathways, not it. How's this work? Guess interacting with things takes memory. Well, what if I... Oops, that was a bad idea. Gotta build that back. No! No, you can't go backwards. If you go backwards, you ruin the whole flow of things. Err. Okay. Okay, so getting rid of pathways does nothing. I'm gonna get rid of this ride. At least I have one more ride left. Uh... That may or may not do anything. There are some guests in the water. No, they're good. No one's drowning. Alright, so I blew up the stair climbing simulator. I'm gonna blow up the okra house. Did that do anything? No. 4,600 guests! I wanna see if I can get there, because it's starting to seem like that's the limit. Alright, I'm gonna build the fun hangar. Alright, open that. And try to connect that to an entrance. Alright, make it free. So if you build a new ride, does anyone come in? No. Did the ad campaign... Oh, it did. You're right. Free rides on this. Ad campaign for this. Great. Get rid of the entrance. So... This isn't doing anything so far. Only thing this is doing is sustaining one of the ads. Check the handyman. Nah, no, I am capped. I can't build more people. It said too many people in game before, and we managed to squeeze in a few more. Deleting... Extra rides, didn't do it. Deleting extra stalls, I don't think did it. Deleting trees, I don't think did it. I, I think 4,600 guests is a hard limit. At least in this park. If, assuming I can even get to 4,600. Right now, I'm not sure if that's even possible. So I've been stuck at 40 not, or, uh, 45, 95 for a while now. Delete the fun hanger. Well, if I delete the fun hanger, then it gets rid of the ad campaign, but I could try. Alright, so deleting that doesn't bring in anybody new either. I guess for the sake of this being a little bit less boring, I'll just merry-go-round. Uh, I'm putting an ad campaign for that. Only ride in the park. Okay. Delete something from the area that's lagging. Uh... Not a lot to delete, I'm gonna tell ya. Uh, let's see, if people come in here... I don't need this sign. Uh... 
I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need the bathroom. Uh, I don't need all of that water. I wonder if the water animation is responsible. That wouldn't... I guess I could see it because it has to animate. But at the same time, it needs to have some water for all the people to land in. Like, what if, what if I just fill in... I'm going to save this for a minute. What if I just fill in a bunch of water? Does that fix anything? Does this make more people come in? Probably not, but... I don't think the water animation is that taxing. I have a crap ton of money, wow. Did I save over the actual park? Uh, I don't think so. I made an extra save for this. So this isn't doing anything. So no, getting rid of the water does nothing. Getting rid of rides at this point doesn't do anything. Um... Med comp, that sounds kind of right to me. Uh, only issue is that I'm not sure if that means I have reached the limit, because I can build more rides, but they're not going to do anything. Uh, I've, I've built more pathways, doesn't make a difference. I mean, if you want, I'll just spend a whole bunch of money on paths. Like, right now. There's a limit of 5,000 sprites in the game. That's guests, vehicles, moving text, ducks, trash, and vomit. That seems... kind of strange to me. Can I buy new land? I can't. I'll get rid of this burger bar. I already have an ad campaign running. There's really nothing I can do that I haven't already done. Yeah, I, I can't build anything. I mean, more pathways don't help. Uh, deleted signs, it doesn't make a difference. Like, I've deleted a whole bunch of signs. Made no difference. I can delete that, but I need that to keep the ad campaign running. Um, delete flowers. For what little that's worth. I can delete that. All the stalls are pretty much gone. Uh, all the rides are gone, except for the merry-go-round, but I need that to keep the ad campaign going. Covering up the water doesn't help. Um, getting rid of pathways doesn't help. Getting rid of trees doesn't seem to help. I, I think it's just... I think this is the best we can do. Stop the music from the merry-go-round. Put your buns here, apparently, is the name I gave a bathroom. Oh ages ago. You just came in. What's going on exactly? Well, I wanted to try to get 5,000 guests in my park at once. Issue is that no matter what I seem to do, game caps out at 4,595. If I delete pathways, if I build pathways, doesn't help. I can't buy any more staff, because there's too many people in the game, and for a while, every time I would delete a ride, it would allow more guests to come into the park, but now I can delete anything and it doesn't do jack. So I think the limit, at least with how everything is here, is 45.95. Um, if anybody has any brilliant ideas as to why that might not be the case, love to hear them, but for the moment, I. I can't imagine getting more people than this. I mean, you can have an atomic bomb go off and just level the entire park, and I don't think we would ever get 5,000. Delete some of the no-exit signs. Um, 
guess I could. I mean, I was deleting some before. It didn't make any difference. I guess if there's just the straight path, it doesn't really matter too much if there's no entry signs or not. You're going to check the source code? All right. There's probably some wacky algorithm for it. I can't imagine every park is the same cap. And if deleting this many signs doesn't make at least one more guest come in, there's no way we're going to make it. Hmm. Try starting a new ad campaign. I kind of can't. Really, there's nothing I think I can do. I mean, I'll get rid of that merry-go-round. I'll start an ad campaign. Oh, wait, I can't. I just don't have another merry-go-round. Uh, build this. Ooh, all right. Uh, entrance, exit. All right. Open. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, ad campaign. Go. Okay, just started a new ad campaign for this ride. I don't think it's going to happen. Hmm. I don't think there's a sprite limit, because I got rid of a whole bunch of things and it didn't make a difference. And if there's a sprite limit, all the rain is certainly not going to help. Can I get rid of the duck sprites by building land into them? Um, maybe? I'm not sure. No, actually they just fly away. No easy way to get rid of ducks. Make a crap ton of merry-go-rounds. Okay! I mean, I've got no other ideas. How about I build a bunch of these? Bunch of fun hangers everywhere. Everyone loves fun hangers. I wonder if the sprite limit of this game is based on... Or whatever limit we've, uh seem to hit is based on a uh, computer specs like if it just knows you know I can't render any more than this my streaming tomorrow I'm not sure is it a memory limit uh probably for the game I can't imagine it's anything related to my computer this game was not around in the era where people had six gigs of RAM Hmm, that doesn't do anything then. Yeah, I don't... I don't think there's anything else I can do to this. It's just... There. I mean, this is the limit. No matter what I do, I don't think I'll ever get more people. Unless duck quacking makes more people come in. And it doesn't. What if I get rid of that broken garbage can? <laughs> get rid of all the land. Uh, do I have options? I want minimum sound quality, and I guess that's it. Great. Sounds so much worse. Does that help? Close it and reopen it. Okay. Could try. Let me just turn the sound back on. All right, let me just save this. Oops, not new game. All right. Close it. No, it's not the E drive. It's the D drive. This is all centered up still, right? Yeah. Delete all the water. The ducks take up. I got rid of the ducks. I got rid of the water. It didn't make a difference. All right, I reloaded it. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> no, there, there is no vomit on these platforms. Trust me. Absolutely none. I know it's really hard to tell, but if you make them invisible, platforms are totally clean. In fact, wait, what if you do make them invisible? Because now the game doesn't, the game doesn't chug if you make them all invisible. Hmm. 
I mean, I can't see if anyone new is coming in, but the total hasn't gone up at all. Simple test. Drown one person, see if one more comes in. Okay. That sounds fair. You. You're gonna have a bad day. Alright. Whoops. Mute, please. Alright, so one guy is drowning. The thing in this game is that everything animates slower if you're tired, meaning if you're really tired, you will fall slower. Um, and you also drown slower. Killed that one guy, it doesn't seem to be replacing him with anybody else. Which makes me think maybe we crammed too many people in this park already. Like we, we have gone over the limit. Oh, we also don't have an ad campaign running though, that's a problem. Let me see, maybe this will help. I don't have any free food or drink because I don't have any food. How about pizza? All the way over here. No, I had people coming before, even though everything's pretty much turned off in the park. You know, I have a whole bunch of bad campaigns running, and it's not attracting anybody, so... do only one month. A little late for that. I don't think... I don't think it's gonna happen. I think we've forced too many people into the park already, and nothing we can do will get more than 4595. In real time, how long is seven years? Uh, seven hours. Every hour in real life is a year in-game. Haven't been playing the same scenario for seven hours. I made this, like, a year ago, at least. Try hiring someone. You can't. Too many people. What does the guest window say? <laughs> it's... it's broken. It kind of started doing this around... 3,500? 4,000? It's not supposed to have this many people. Check out this link. Okay. Oh, that's Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, though. That's a different game. Extreme Park! Yeah, this... it's not working. Best I can do is 4595. Five. That's the limit. I'm convinced. Is each month five minutes? Uh, no. Because it's only open from March to October, which is... How many months? March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. That's eight. So... Whatever 60 divided by 8 is many minutes per month. Is this... Yes, this is the disc. This is not the downloadable Roller Coaster Tycoon on GOG. This is just the disc I have. Can I hire a worker? No! There's nothing I can do to directly add people to the park. Um... The best I can do is open this one, where I had one more guest because I didn't drown him. But, yeah, this is the best I think I can do. Maybe if the ducks quack, more people will be born. Maybe if I get rid of all of the water. Knock those ducks away, I'll get more people in. This is the only other theory that I think works. Maybe... The ducks count to the number of people you can have. Which sort of makes sense, because they animate and they fly and they kind of have AI, sort of. So if you get rid of all the water, will that make more room? I'm also wasting all of my money. Holy crap! <laughs> I'm effectively broke. Wow. I'm broke. I had 30 grand, and I'm broke. I did try deleting trees, didn't help. Deleted all the land, didn't help. Oh, there's actually more loan, wow. Thanks, game. That was a nice surprise. 
I did not see that coming. If I were smart, I probably could have covered all the land if I only raised it up by like one unit, but I raised it up by a whole lot and suddenly lost all my money, so. All right, fly away, ducks. I'll just write my doctoral thesis on the person cap in Roller Coaster Tycoon. No, there is an ad camp. Oh no, you're. Oh, I can't afford it though. Hmm. I don't have anything else to delete. I've got no rods. I guess I can get rid of pathways to get an ad campaign. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough money though. Eh, it's probably actually enough money tied up in the pathways where I can have a full ad campaign. At least for a couple of months. Yeah, PhD in Roller Coaster Tycoon Theory. I think it sounds impressive. Do, 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 do. Uh, ooh, that's a lot of pathways. Wow. I can also get rid of all these statues. Take that art. Alright, that should be enough. Free entry to the park. Two weeks. Free rides on... Oh, we don't have any any rides. Free... We don't have any food. Ad campaign for the park. Ad camp... Oh, we don't have any rides. I should probably make at least one ride and one food just so I can have that going. Burger bar. That's great. Love them. What's a cheap ride? Hedge maze. We have those. We do. All right. $26 empty maze. Open. If this doesn't do anything... I've, I've reached the cap. It's not going up. If one full ad campaign with most of the water covered up so ducks won't spawn... Oh, I don't have enough money. So ducks won't spawn and potentially contribute to the maximum number of living things in the game, I'm just going to drown everyone and call it a night because I don't think it's going to get any more... Produ oh! Oh no! No! It's working! It's... Oh man, it's totally working! No, why is it working? <laughs> oh god damn it! This means I haven't found out anything. We've reached 4600. I did not expect that, but that means I have to run even more ads! Then I haven't reached the cap, and... Oh, God. Then I don't know what the answer is. Because I could conceivably just delete everything. Was it the ducks? It might have been the ducks. I don't know. Get more money, you're right. Well, now I'm at 4,600 guests on the nose. It's probably the ducks. But... Covering up all of the water would take a long, long time. And I don't think there's enough money left in the pathways to even fund that. Hmm. Also, yeah, the water outside the park, can't get rid of... I didn't even think of that, to be honest, but... Alright, well, it's gonna rain, which is not probably going to help. Probably counts that as extra stuff. Well, 4,600 guests, I feel like, is... It's a nice round number, at least. I'd rather it end there than 49.95. Save, you're probably right. Uh... All the only money I've got left is in Pathways. That's it. And I think it's the ducks and not the Pathways, so... I'm just getting rid of these so I can fund another ad campaign when this one inevitably runs out. Restart it and be more careful about raising the land. Eh. 
I could, but now that I know or feel relatively confident that it is the ducks, um, and there's no single hard cat, because there is water outside the park I can't get rid of, then, um, I kind of can't be bothered. Because I will never reach a solid number. There, there's always going to be stuff outside the park that I can't change. You actually joked when you said it was the ducks. Well, you're right. It was the ducks. It was the ducks all along. Those freeloaders. This is a lot of money in pathways, wow. Do ducks migrate? Probably not. Do, 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 do. I can get rid of all this. I'm just going to drown 4,600 guests and call it a day, I think. Did some good science here today, people. We have... Oops, that needs to be there. We, we have maybe not solved, but... I don't know. Made a lot of progress into figuring out this mystery. And if 4,600 is the maximum number of people I can drown at any one time, that's good enough for me. Hmm. Did my ad campaigns run out? Probably did. They did. Let's have a couple more. Three weeks. Let me see if this does anything. Might be stuck on 46 for good. Do, 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 do. Most boring park in existence now. Well, I've already beaten this scenario, so it doesn't really even matter. Um, it's year 7, I think it ended in year 4. So I can pretty much do anything to this park and it's not going to cause a problem. Do, ba, do, do. My scientific method is appalling. Well, it's kind of hard to have replicates when it takes seven hours to set this kind of thing up. Someone set me up a T-test. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. I've got the camera all screwed up. Which way is the entrance? Oh, man, where am I? Oh, all right. Get so used to looking at the park one way. Once you turn the camera around, you have no idea where anything else is. Hmm. Yeah, 4600, so it's definitely not the pathways. It's the rides, probably because of the cars on the rides, now that I think about it. They probably treat guests as objects, ducks as objects, and the cars on the rides as objects, which is why deleting the 3D theater didn't do anything but deleting Bill Cosby's Razzle Frazz Nazzle, which is a roller coaster with a whole bunch of cars, brought in like six or eight people. That was the number of cars on the train. That's probably how the game does it. If I had to say something about it right now. Yeah, Bill Cosby's Frazzle Dazzle was a ride we made in this with like six loops over and over. And then it went backwards and did the same six loops. Are there any ducks here? Nope. Try putting a drink stand. Nah, drink stands don't really do anything. Are there any ducks here? Because if there are no other ducks in the park, I can conclude 4,600 people in the guest, or er, in the park is the max. And currently, I don't see any ducks. And if there's no ducks in the park, then that's it. This is the limit. 
Yeah, I think you're right. No more ducks are going to spawn. It's just like I can't make new handymen. I can't make ducks. Ducks are gone. The, the game... Oh, wait, no, I lied. <laughs> Never mind. That would have been really nice to just say. Like, oh, all right, no more ducks, but... Nope. There are ducks. Still ducks. <laughs> God damn it. Hmm. Of course there's ducks. Follow that duck. All right. Once it goes off screen, will a new person come in the park? Probably not. The ad campaigns are almost done. Hmm. Uh, just wasting time. You're kind of... Kind of at the end of a horrible, horrible experiment here. Come on, duck. Nah, if you build a ride with a bunch of cars and delete it, I've done it here. It doesn't do anything. Do you think the limit could be 4,601? That would be really weird. I would like to say the limit is 4,600, because that's a nice number. If it's like 4,601, it would make me think, all right, well, maybe I can get more people in here. Hmm. Come on. Get out of the park. Please. Go. Oh, God, there's so much more to go. Just, just keep flying, please. I built a bunch of roller coasters when I had 4,995 people in the park, and it didn't say anything? It didn't say, like, hey, you know, you can't build more coasters, there's too many objects or anything, so... Okay, the duck is gone. Does that mean someone else came in the park? Yes! Oh, no! 4,601. Can the rating go any lower? No. So... <laughs> it could conceivably... No, the total number of guests could go up. Maybe. If there's still more ducks. Remove all the water. I don't have enough money. And... Honestly? There are no more ducks in the park. Like, absolutely none. Nope. That's one body of water. Fairly sure there's none under here. I hope there aren't, because I can't do anything about that. No. No ducks here, where all the people are. No ducks there. Or there. How about here? No. And suddenly, that's it. No one. No ducks. There, There is nothing currently in the park that I could either add or remove to get more than 4,600 and one guests. Nothing. No trees, no attractions, no pathways. Those don't make a difference anymore. Only ducks. And there are no ducks left. Except for the ones made of shrubs. I'll get rid of that one just to be safe. Imagine if actually duck-shaped things brought more people in. I just want to double check. Okay. That's... That is what I have to say. Ducks and cars on the ride contribute to the total number of things you can have in the park. And I don't know why this stops at 4601, but it does. Um, I don't know what to say, but no more ducks are going to spawn. Maybe the math could be if greater than 4,600. I don't know. I don't do math. Or programming. The 
grass is animated. Oh god, yeah, just make it all water. Maybe guess with umbrellas count as two. Ugh. It's just a horrible mess of red and brown. I don't know. How much RAM do I have left? 50%, yeah. It's probably a program thing. I don't even know at this point. Okay. So that is it. That, that is Roller Coaster Tycoon. If you have guests in your park, your total will be dictated by A, the number of service people, B, the number of ducks, and C, the number of cars on your ride. Now, in this case, we have 4,600 guests, all lost as it rains in this park. So, this is probably what everyone's been waiting for, and I certainly can't blame you. I'm going to call it right here. This is physically the maximum number of guests I can have in this park. And now they're all going to drown at once. All 4,601 guests. Very, very slowly. A couple people die in the beginning, and uh, most of them haven't even fallen in yet. And, uh... They make a fish shape. No, it seems like some people can't even fit in the water. They keep popping up. That's really strange. I've never seen that before. The game is just totally confused. And there it goes. And... Zero. <laughs> That's horrible. This park... Nope. Oh, hang on. There we go. This park is empty. There's nothing. Nobody in this park at all. And nobody else coming in either. Ta-da! <laughs> now all I need to do is find the time to um, make a clean recording of that without me talking over it, and then I'll throw it on YouTube one day. And now the park's a duck sanctuary, yeah. Pretty much. So that was Roller Coast... Oh, guests can't get to the entrance of Burger Bar 1. That's because they're all dead. Hmm. Most disappointing park award. Yeah, I could see that being a bit of an issue. If 4,601 people died in my theme park, I guess I'd be kind of disappointed, too. Run an ad camp. All right, fine. I'm going to kill the stream soon, but consider... Fi oh, God, you're kidding. No! Oh, don't come in! No, no, no! <laughs> and thus the park starts anew. Two. Three. <laughs> Alright, let's count the 4,601! <laughs> Could you imagine? I, I am not. I am not doing that again. <laughs> I think I am charging people. Yep, 70 bucks. They are paying 70 to get in, because they all have at least 70. But uh, that's been Roller Coaster Tycoon. We did a legitimate scenario, and then we did a scientific analysis of the game and found that you can have no more than 4,601 objects so far. Uh, consider following the stream if you want, that'd be great. Keep up to date when I stream other random junk, which is probably this. You can follow the Twitter, which is also Monotone Tim, because I've got really unoriginal ideas for what screen names ought to be. Um, might be back tomorrow, streaming, not sure. Uh, hang out in the chat if you want. Eh, hang in. Try that again. Hang out in the chat if you want for a couple minutes, and I'll run an advertisement or two or something and make like two bucks. 
no, not two bucks, like 50 cents <laughs> or something. I don't even know. I think this entire month I made $20 in Twitch ad revenue. So throw that in perspective. But anyway, I'm going to head off. Got class tomorrow at 11. Thanks again for watching. It was pretty interesting, at least. Uh, follow if you want and hang out in the chat. If you want to watch a couple of ads for things you'll probably never buy. So I'm off, and thanks again.